I need help confronting my son's father, Chris. Right before I found out I was pregnant, I found out he was sleeping with my sister. How long after that did they get married? Within a month. He treats my sister's kids, you know, better than he treats my son. He sits there and calls my son a retard. What is wrong with my son? You called your three-year-old son a dumbass? Why would you stay with a man that verbally abuses your children? I stayed with him thinking, well, maybe he'll change. But why would you get with a man that had just got your sister pregnant? I didn't care if I hurted her or not. I told you. I said, don't you dare hurt my daughter. You drove a wedge between my family. I will never forgive you. I'm through. I'm done. You took a lie detector test before the show. And the results of your lie detector test. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Ashley. Ashley, you called the show. Why are you here today? Because I need help confronting my son's father, Chris, because he has put me through a lot of emotional distress and he has nothing to do with his son. And he left me, um, sorry. He left me for my sister. <laughs> sorry, he treats my sister's kids, you know, better than he treats my son. <laughs> You got him. You got involved with a guy. You, you I had... lost my virginity to him when I was 18, and he turned around and like I was just got reunited with my sister because we were in foster care until we were 18, and I put all my trust into her, and she ended up sleeping with him. How old were you when you put the foster care? Probably about five or six. And during this time, you lost contact with your sister. Is she your older sister or younger sister? My older sister. She's your older sister. Were you, were you happy when you found your sister? Yeah, I was. And then I found out because Chris proposed me. And, you know, we were talking about having kids. And we purposely tried to get pregnant. And I was, I was stupid. I was 18 years old. And right before I found out I was pregnant, I found out he was sleeping with my sister. And I told them that, and they got married. How long after that did they get married? Within a month. How long were you with him before he was with your sister? We weren't together that long, but the fact is that I was pregnant and he should have known better than to get married to her. We were only together about two months and he says it's a week, but it was two months. I mean, it must hurt you deeply that your sister, even though you, you weren't growing up with her, but you find her, that she would sleep with the guy that you're with and then they get married. How long after? You told him you were pregnant? Not even a month? Did she ever explain to why she did this? Because they were meant to be together. They were meant to be together. What did he, how was his reaction to you being pregnant? He just, he just smirked it off. He didn't really care. And, and how old is your, was it son? How old is your son now? 18 months. He's 18 months. Is he a good father? nothing to do with Julian at all. <laughs> I sit there and I gave him so many chances to be a part of his life and every single time he hasn't done anything. <laughs> when Julian was born, he gave Julian um, a thing, a diaper ice cream that had already been used and said, here is that. <laughs> he, has, he has other sons from my sister and he does more from them kids than he does, you know, my son. How many children does he have with your sister? <laughs> He has um, two with my sister, and then he has a stepson. But he's 20 years old, and he has four kids. And he doesn't understand how hard it is to raise a kid on his own. How did you find out he was sleeping with your sister? Um, he told my mom when they were working together, because my mom got him a job and everything, and he told her that, that they were sleeping together in our old house. And of course, he said, "Don't tell, you know, don't tell Ashley." And my mom, my mom's like, "You must be an idiot," because she told me. Well, of course. Why? I mean, why would you? Why would he think that wasn't going to happen? What was your relationship with like with your sister? Were you guys getting along? Yeah, we were getting along pretty good until Chris came along, and then I know I, I introduced Chris to my mom and my sister, and I seen that look in her eyes, and I should have known. But, you know, when you trust somebody, you don't think something like that's going to happen. What was the look? It was just like, I don't know, she gave him, like, a little flirty look. And, again, you say you were dating a couple months. He says a week. 
either way, kind of a short time, He's a especially liar. jump into a commitment like that. Yep, you know how 18 year olds are, they're naive. You know, and especially for my first one, I thought, you know, I didn't think anything was going to go wrong. I thought we were going to be together forever, and that's what we talked about. You know, that we wanted to have a kid, and so we purposely tried to get pregnant. And now he's not taking any responsibility. Was he working at the time? Yeah. We met at, actually at work. Okay, so you both were working. But did you really think, like, you're with this guy, that I'm, gonna, I'm 18 years old, I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life? Actually, yeah, I did. And then, I don't know, something just snapped, and he just started being mean. What like, was it that snapped? Was it that you telling him you're pregnant? What was it? Yeah, I think it was that. And when you say mean, what was he being doing to you? He, okay, when I was, when I found out I was pregnant, we bought a whole bunch of food, and, you know, they could eat it. Chris told me I needed to stop eating because I was too fat. So I lost 20 pounds. So I almost lost the baby. Explain to me how you get a woman pregnant by accident. Were you walking down the street? No. And, whoop, and you get no. the sister pregnant a month later. Was that an accident too? But why would you get with a man that had just got your sister pregnant? I didn't care if I hurt her or not. He, he confides into your mom, which, honestly, this guy sounds like a dope. <laughs> yes. I'm sleeping with your one daughter, but I'm going out with your other daughter, and I'm sleeping with her. But don't tell Ashley. I mean, what is this guy thinking? That's uh, his problem. He and when your mom tells you, do you go and confront your sister? I tried. And what happened? All she said is, well, it's already done and over with. We're together now. You just need to go. Do you see your sister now? Yeah, actually, she's living with us because she just left Chris and she needed help raising her boy, so I'm helping her. I know, I let people... No, run. no, I mean, there's people that can forgive anything and you might be one of those people. What happened between them that she's not with him? Um, there's suspected child abuse and I've actually seen it. What kind of child abuse? Well, first of all, he sits there and calls my son a retard. He calls your son a retard? But that's his son. Why would he do that? Because he has another son named Christopher, and Julian can't say as many words as Christopher can, so that's why he's a retard. And what's, and so your sister's saying that he's abusing the children? I've seen it. He grabbed my nephew's arm, and because he was supposed to be sitting in timeout, and he grabbed his arm and he, he pulled it up and his shoulder blade was about ready to pop out. And we told him to stop because he was gonna break his arm and he's like, oh, it's not gonna hurt him any. I've seen him whip my other nephew, Christopher, and he had big welts on his back. How old are your nephews? Joseph is three, Christopher's 17 months, and then my son is 18 months. And then there's a newborn 11 days old. He was born the 20th of the last month, and he stopped breathing, and Chris never called, never showed up to check on him. He still hasn't called. He Does he do act it. like he even cares? No. Is, is, here's a crazy question. Is he a good father? No. He's the worst father ever. See, just, I don't, I want to be sympathetic to you, but that's why you really need to take your time, get to know somebody, before you start bringing children into the world. <laughs> and so, tell me again, why exactly are you here today? Because I need help confronting Chris, because he needs, I wanna tell him that he's not allowed in Julian's life anymore. I don't want him any, anywhere around my son. He's my son, I've been raising him since he was born. All me, I made sure he had diapers, everything. And if he has been abusing my nephews, I just need help confronting him and telling him because if I just do it without any help, it's not going to go very good because he has been known to get physical with people. Has he ever got physical with you? He's raised his hand to me. He's pushed my sister when she was six or seven months pregnant. That's why I don't want to do it. 
alone. Well, you don't have to worry. He's not going to do anything here. <laughs> he denies abusing your sister's children and calling them names. And before the show, he took a lie detector test, and we will get to the results of that test. I'm going to bring him out now. This is Chris. Yep. He's the father of your child, and he's the father of your sister's children. Let's bring Chris up. Hello. How you doing, Chris? Not good. You don't, you don't mind standing up until we clear this no, all I up, don't. right? <laughs> and, and you are how old? I am 20 years old. 20 years old. Ashley comes on. She says that um, she loves you. She gives herself as a woman to you for the first time. Yes. And she gets pregnant. And when you, she tells you she's pregnant, you go and run and start sleeping with her sister. What do you want to say to Chris? I can't believe you even did that. You don't even want nothing to do with your son. What is wrong with my son? Is it, why is he a retard, Chris? I don't understand. Nobody calls him a retard. Yes, you did. Don't say your line in my and face. Who, who heard me then? You. I called him me. a retard because he's not as smart as Christopher. How who, dare you? Who heard me say that? You know what, Chris? I have been taking care of that baby since he was born. You have not done nothing for him. You called your three-year-old son a dumbass. Why would you stay with a man that verbally abuses your children? I stayed with him thinking, well, maybe he'll change. I told you. I said, don't you dare hurt my daughter. You drove a wedge between my family. I will never. Forgive you. I'm not allowed to have your number. You have my number now. I have your number now. But you Melissa had my number the before. All you had to do was ask my aunt. No, she, would, yes. she had to call you and get permission. You know what? This is childish. I'm not going to argue, Chris. You need to step up and be a man. I paid, you my, know what? I paid child support, and I was there for that child when he was born, but you guys did not allow me back there to That's see my son. That's because every time you went in the I delivery not room, get my to blood see my pressure son. spiked up, and I would end up losing him. No. Do you want that, Chris? No, I did not want him, him gone. Then no. start acting like you don't want him gone. You have not done anything for him. Whose fault is it for not I having I have been money? raising Julian on my own. All you had to do was call to check up on him. You never once did that. Daddy would not give me the number. Yeah, that's bull. You know what, Ashley? I w what I'd like to do now is I want to ask you to leave the stage, and at some point I'll bring you back out. <laughs> it's, you may it, have a seat. No, I don't want you to sit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I come, I do the show, and they type mm -hmm. up these cards, and they, they put little questions down on here. But, like, this show, I'm like, what the hell do I need these cards for? I'm looking at a kid, 20 years old. You're with Ashley, right? That was for, like, a very short time. How short of a time? And it was within a couple weeks. To How short of a month. time were you with Ashley? It was over two years ago. It could have been, I think How, it was You're a not few answering weeks. the question. Answer the question that I'm asking you. I, How short of a time were you with her? A few weeks. A few weeks. Yeah. And in that few weeks, you managed to get her pregnant. By accident, yes. By accident? Explain to me how you get a woman pregnant by accident. <laughs> Explain to me how that happens. Because it's never happened to me. Yeah. How, how did it happen? Were you walking down the street? No. And Whoop! Whoa! And then you get no. the sister pregnant a month later. Was that an accident too? No, that was that was actually that was, was planned. That, that he was planned. Did you think it was a good idea to have a child with Ashley's sister a month later after Ashley told you she was no, me pregnant? And my, me and my wife talked about this. And she, what was discussed? Hey, you were sleeping with my sister. You're going to have a baby with her. But I think it's no, a good idea. Me and my now wife, you have a child me, with me. Me and my wife decided, and it was our relationship that we decided we wanted to have a child. You know what? I know you're trying to soften the situation down by calling your wife, and I respect that she's your wife. But the point is, mm -hmm. you're sleeping with one girl, and then you go and you sleep with her sister. Did you not take 
any of her feelings into consideration how you might be devastating this young girl's life that she's going to have to look at you for the rest of her life knowing after you left her yeah. hey relationships break up all the time do whatever you want to do but you don't have any consideration for a fellow human being that you're going to make this poor girl suffer by sleeping with her sister by having children with her <laughs> I fell in love with her sister, and her sister fell in love with me. And, you know, it's not something that I planned out to happen. Like the f baby you had with Ashley. Exactly. What have you done for this child that you brought into the world? Well, uh, don't I've... pin it on her. Listen, don't point your finger at her, because it's you who also decide to bring this child into the world. You take some responsibility. So, I want to know what you've done, not what she's not allowing you to do. I want to know what you are doing. I showed up to when, when the child was born. I was there, was not allowed to see my son. I was allowed to see him a month after he was born. Um, when he needed, when, he, when I went down there to visit for one time, he needed some milk and a couple of sippy cups. And I bought that for him. Uh, and for his his birth gifts. Give him a big hand. <laughs> Milk in his sippy cups. It's not a standing O, but it's no, a No, I hand. bought him Christmas presents. What about food? What about diapers? What about things that a baby needs on a daily basis? What about the mother that's raising your child? Take care of her how at all? Am I, how, am I supposed to, how am I supposed to know what they need? I, I can't, I don't have You know number. what? That's my point. If you don't know what they need, then you shouldn't be having children. Yeah. No. I would she... love to go through life ignorant like you. Oh, that would be so easy. Kids, what do they need? I don't know. No, I know what kids need, but she never, she never related to me what she needs. And... If she doesn't need anything for the kid, if did she has Did you call her fat while she was pregnant? No, I did not call her fat while she was pregnant. She said she stopped eating and lost 20 pounds because you called well, her fat. Well, that's kind of obscene to be able to lose 20 pounds just by not eating. Tell me what is going to stop you from having any more children. The only thing you care about is your own sexual needs. You took a lie detector test before the show. Yes. And the results of your lie detector test... What's, what's your wife's name? Melissa. Melissa, you ever abuse your children no. with her? I, I, will, I do. I, I have spank, spanked my kids, and DHS knows about that. And Why do they know about it? Because, well, DHS is in our life because... Why we, are they in your life? Melissa was, and I was the worker. Melissa was the homemaker mom, and she would stay home and clean the house and do the cooking. And I'd come home, and I'd help her out after I got home. And she didn't keep up with the house, and DHS came in while I was at work, and they started investigating us. They had and it's for cleaning and not child abuse. If they would have found child abuse or bruises in the state of Iowa, they would have took them away instantly. The, so they never found any. They don't form find of they, abuse. No. So who made up these claims of abuse? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm here to find has out. Has Melissa also. ever said that you abused your children? I don't know. I, you don't know? She's your wife. She may. She could have told her mom, and I don't know. What, did Melissa leave you? Why did she leave me just now? I'm just, asking you, did she leave you? Yeah, she, she Why separated. Why did she leave you? Because when we get in an argument, we use uh, vulgar language to each other, and she it's, it's a type of mental abuse, and her mom told her to leave me because of it. So you're, you're calling your wife names, vulgar names. And she calls me the same thing. Did you call your children names? I've never called them retarded. I've never called them, um, in other words, like when... What vulgar names do you call your children? Well, there, there are words like, uh, my wife also calls them the same thing. Like dumbass? I've, I, that word has, has been said, yes. Why would you call a child a dumbass? It's, it's, it was just a word that came out. It's just a word that came out? Yes. Not yeah. on purpose, not meant to. You ever call Melissa a bitch? Yes, I have. 
That's that's nice. You and call, she's, she's you call called, your own wife. She's called me a, a bastard. She's called me all the kind of same names. And, and this and this dumbass is to a three year old, right? You called your three year old son a dumbass. Yeah, Melissa has done the same thing, and if it's I love that you keep going back to what she's done. Are you is, are you a man? Not, are you a man? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking you what you did. When okay. she comes out here, I'll ask her what she did. But right now, okay. I'm asking what, what, here's a man that you throw your own wife under the bus. Why is that? She, she'll say the same thing about me. And, oh, my husband does this. He does this. Nobody else is making allegations against you? No, her, my, the, my mother-in-law, she makes allegations, um, and which, which was really obscene, like, I, I end up taking my steel toe boot and kicking Joseph across the head. And what Joseph is your son? Is my son, yes. And that is completely obscene because wouldn't you think he would have at least been injured? If you kicked uh, a child I, if I in kicked the head a with, child, a, with a steel toe boot, yes. yeah, I think your son would be yes. injured. Or like she also said that I picked him up and threw him into a table stand. Did you? No. Did you, you phys- did you ever physically discipline your children? It was smacking them, tapping them on the butt, yes. Tapping them, on, tapping them or spanking, spanking them? Spanking them on the butt, sorry. And how old is your children that you spank them in the three, butt? Three years old. And I, I grew up in a family. My, my mother spanked me at that age. And she spanked all my brothers and sisters at that age. And So the mother makes these allegations that you ever confront their mother? Saying, why are you saying I'm kicking my son with a steel toe boot? No, because I don't get to see him. We, she came up last week, but I did not want to start an argument. Ashley tells a story that you told the mother that I'm sleeping with your other daughter. Please don't tell Ashley. No, she, her mother found out that me and Melissa were together by both of us telling her. And just so we're, we're real clear about this, you took a lie detector test before the show. Yes. And we'll get to your results. I'm going to have you leave the stage, and I'll bring you back out at some okay. point. All right? Let's bring out his wife, Melissa, who is Ashley's sister. Mm-hmm. Have a seat. You just, you just had a baby 11 days ago, right? Yes, I did. Congratulations. What would you Thank have, you. little boy, little, little girl? Little boy. Little boy? Yep. What would you name your boy? Zachary. Zachary. Got a, and this is your second child? My third child. Your third child. Yes. Got to be extremely happy. Oh, yeah. I'm very <coughs> happy about that. Was your husband there for the birth of your child? Yes, and then two hours later he left. And why did he leave? Because he said he needed a shower and something to eat. And later on that night, my son quit breathing on me. And we had to be rushed back to the nursery to get some amniotic fluid out of his stomach and lungs. And after he finally got breathing again, then I called him and let him know that he quit breathing on us. And uh, all he could say was, oh, my God, is he okay? And I said, yeah, now he's fine. And he was, well, I got tires to do. And then he hung, we hung up, and he didn't bother coming back and seeing how his son was or even calling. I told you. I said, don't you dare hurt my daughter. You drove a wedge between my family. I will never forgive you. So you said you, you, your newborn son has fluid in his lungs and his stomach, and he didn't come back and check or anything on, no. on your son. No, and how did you feel about that? I felt hurt because it just goes to prove to me that he don't care. He don't care about me or, that, or any of his kids. Do you think he showed a lot of caring towards your sister? No, he has not. And that's why i got to ask you. You come out, you seem like, you know, nice girl, just had a baby, you know, very, very joyous moment in your life. But why would you get with a man that had just got your sister pregnant? Because I was being stupid. Is it that, just that simple? Just no. being stupid? I mean, it's I not could, if you simple. came out, you know what, if you came out here and told me it was your friend, he was dating your friend, and it's just being stupid, I'd say, okay, it happens. People, 
you know, it happens all the time. But this is your sister. Both of you were given up at young ages, going through life, rocky childhood, going through foster homes, and you, you, you finally got somebody that you think you can count on, and she's very happy that, wow, I got a sister, this is great, we're together. She's in love with this guy. She's obviously very emotional about him. She's latching on to the first guy that comes down. She's pregnant. And then she finds out, and then not even, not only do you get pregnant, you marry this guy, knowing that he's, your sister's carrying his child. Is that really just being stupid, or is that just kind of being, you know, I don't care, I'm going to take whatever I want, and I don't care whose feelings I hurt. At that point in time, that's what it was. I didn't care if I hurted her or not because we've lost contact, so I didn't really care. Did you, that did you were time. you backstage listening to your sister talk about this period yeah. in her life? Did Makes you sense. see the pain that was in her face? And I feel really sorry and bad about it. And she takes you in because she doesn't want to see you or your children on the streets. And I'm really thankful for her. I really am. Why, why did you leave, Chris? Because he was mentally abusing me by calling me a dumbass, retarded, stupid. Pretty much I don't amount to anything. And my three-year-old, he was calling him retarded and a dumbass. And he even told my mom that he was retarded and a dumbass because, and she asked who said it, and he said, Daddy. Your three-year-old. My three-year-old. Why would you stay with a man that verbally abuses your children? Well, I got sick and tired of it, and him physically abusing my three-year-old. What was he doing to your three-year-old? He twisted his arm and literally pulled it out, his shoulder blade out underneath of his armpit. And he said, well, I'm not going to hurt him. I know it's going to break his arm and stuff like that, and I, I told him to quit. And I looked at my mom, and I was the one to ask her if I could go home with him, guys, because I couldn't take it anymore. And he hit my 17-month-old and left a big welt and a red mark of his hand on his upper butt and butt. He's not involved in your sister's child at all, right? No. Your, your sister's child's life? No, your nephew? Not. What not that a clue right there if he hears a man that doesn't take care of his children, doesn't provide anything, isn't there for his child at all, doesn't that cause you say, wow, this guy, if he doesn't care about those children of his, why would he care about my children? Yeah. I, was, I was thinking because, well, since I'm married to him, he'll be there for my kids. And that's not working out. Was he ever violent with you? Yes, he pushed me when I was like six or seven months pregnant with my youngest son, who was 11 days old. And why did he push you? Because I pushed him, and he got pissed off and pushed me. And wasn't that right there a clue? I better get out of here to protect my unborn child? Yeah, but then I wasn't thinking, and I, I left him shortly after that and was staying in a shelter, and then... I was stupid enough to go back to him. What are, why are you here today? Well, to tell my husband that I'm done and through and I'm getting a divorce. Are you really? Finalized. Yes, I am. All right, let's bring him on. You can tell him. I'm done with up. I'm done. I'm getting a divorce and that's what I want. Yeah. So I just what can't take it. Not at all. Okay. Especially physically abusing my kids. And you don't know why I left you. I left you because physically of it. Pulling Joseph's arm out of place? Yes. And how come he didn't go to the hospital if it was out of the place? Because you twisted it and you hurt him because he started bawling. And all you could say is he's going to be fine. He was bawling. Yes, he was. No. Whatever. He was three years old. What the hell are you pulling on a three-year-old's arm I pulled arm his arm away from the computer. I did not twist his arms around his yeah, back she... and pull it out of place. So is she lying? Yes, she's lying. No, I'm not. That's I've, obscene. I've got proof. My mom and my sister oh, both mom. seen it. Your mom. The yes. one who smokes pot around Joseph when no, he was younger. No, she does not. Yes, she did. 
That's why you left in the first place. You moved she with me. She don't do any drugs you, anymore. No, not anymore. And I praise her for not doing drugs anymore. But she did marijuana around you and Joseph when you guys lived in and that's why we she left, and she violently assaulted me. And through, she, she did. I'd be violently assaulting she you, too, it, yeah. if you were dating my daughters. <laughs> but still. I just can't take any more the mental know. abuse, you're the physical abuse. I'm done. You done told me. But then you talked nice to me the other night, a few, about a week ago on the you, phone. You know why I did that? To get you on the show to tell you I'm through. I'm done. You took a lie detector test before the show. Yeah. And the results of your lie detector test. You know, since you've been out here, I haven't, when I ask her something, she doesn't say, well, my husband does it too. My husband does it too. My husband does it too. No. Does she throw you under the bus? No, but you do call, you do say the same names. Same names. How you, you, old you, are you? Are you really 14? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Show me a license right now. I want to see your ID. <laughs> I should take you home. Here, give me a curfew slip. I'm going to write one up right now. A child. Child out, too late. Have to stop him from impregnating the world. <laughs> Have you ever called your kids names? No. You ever call your son retarded? No. Actually, my sons are very, very smart, especially for the ages they are. Do you call them dumbass? No, I don't. Why, not? Why don't you call your kids names? Because to me, it's disrespectful to my kids. And if I want my kids to be respectful to me, I've got to be respectful to them. Wow, what a, what a novel idea. Where did, where did she learn that from? You do call, you do call them dumbasses. Oh, no, there I you don't. Go. Yes, you do. You're the one that's calling them dumbasses Ask and retarded. Aunt. That's why my three-year-old son tells my mom, we dumbasses. Well, who told you that? Daddy. We, we retarded. Who told you that? Daddy. Why would my three-year-old son say that to my mom? He's, he said that. And to me. He said yes, that. he did. But you guys just all of a sudden they just tell me now and... Why should we have to tell you when you're the one that's doing it? You have oh, no I, respect for I those kids. I sat there and looked at the kid, looked at Joseph and said, you're retarded. Yes, as my mom. My, he said that to my mom and I was in the living room and I heard him say that. Have you ever heard him say it to your sons? Yes, I have. Oh, really? Yes, I have. I, I told, I looked at Joseph and said, yeah. called him a retard. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Joseph, why would Joseph say anything like that? What did you do about it? I told him to knock it off and quit, and my kids ain't retarded. And if I really had done that, why wouldn't you have just left me? Well, she did. She's no. living with your sister. Why did she not leave now? me right then? Because this supposedly happened a while I've ago. I've left you several times, and I was stupid enough to keep crawling back to you. But this time is the last and final time. Right. I'm not ever going back to you okay. again. Your mom is here? Yes. Let's bring out your mom. You! Destroy, you, know, I, you don't realize I just got my kids back. My girls home with me after they've been gone for so many years. You drove a wedge between my family! Sorry, Steve. <laughs> You realize how bad that hurt me? You, for that matter, I will never forgive you. And don't you ever call me moms again. I and as far as I'm concerned, you are never, and you never have been, my son-in-law. Okay. You will not have no contact with my daughter or my grandsons, just like you have done to me. You kept my grandkids away from me. For what? To... You tell me. Come on. You smoking marijuana around Joseph? Hey, this is not about me. Uh, you just asked why we kept you away from this him. This is about all this stuff now. We kept you. Why did we keep you away? We gave her a drug test today. And well, she no, she's it. clean now. Well, she's clean. I well, she's clean now. And I, I, Thank you. I applaud you for that. I applaud you for that. I did. I did.
I just love the way you sling mud at everybody else. You're probably the, the, the you know, I'm the, I don't want to rake people up here, but you're the worst guy up here. I know. You're the worst guy up here. I mean, what did Ashley do wrong? What did Ashley do wrong? She's never done nothing wrong. Nothing, did nothing wrong? No. She fell in love with you, and she wanted to have a baby. So she did nothing wrong. What did she do wrong? You know what? Besides hurting her own sister, she did nothing wrong to you. She fell in love with you. She gave you a child within a month of knowing you. What did she do wrong? What did mom do wrong? What did, a mother that cares about her daughters is concerned that there's a guy sleeping with both her daughters, having children with them. How about this? How about the concern he shows? Oh, you want a divorce? Okay. You're going home with your mom? Okay. The only thing you care about is your own sexual needs. <laughs> why that I have not been answering my phone why? is because when your son quit breathing at the hospital you didn't have the decency to call or show up because you were too busy finding a job went by your phone the next day you couldn't even call to even check on him like with Julian I you, would show up you hardly there. ever call well matter of fact you never called Ashley had to call you you didn't even want to talk to him Melissa had to give the phone to you and you call yourself a man? I tell you what, if you're a man, I tell you it's one thing, I can do without men. Let's bring out your other daughter, your sister, your former lover. Let's bring Ashley back out. <coughs> Is there anything that the sisters want to say to each other? I love you no matter what, and we're not going to let him get in the way of our love. We are blood. You did nothing to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you say you know? You ain't seen your son. My son. He, oh, by the way, he is doing very well, okay? So, you know what? All the stuff that I put you through and being stupid. You know what, Melissa? We all make mistakes, okay? As long as it doesn't happen again. Oh, it will never happen again. I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, Ashley. Your forgiveness, you are a much better person than me because I could not forgive at your level. I could not. He's water. We are blood. Well, Chris here was given a lie detector test. <laughs> and it was interesting. It's always interesting when the examiner has notes. The subject admitted that he is very physical with his boys and admits that he used excessive force at times while roughhousing with them. He admits that he has thrown Joseph on the bed with excessive force as a form of punishment and twisted his arm. But not enough. And we, him and no, I talked no, about No, no, no. You didn't say that. Places. Just before you're taking the test, this is what you said. Now you want to add stuff now? No. No, he, he said, I, he, he told me that I would be able to talk about this. <laughs> Ray, you're going in to take the test and you're admitted to all this. It's because you know you're going to fail. He also admitted to swearing at and in front of the kids and telling Joseph to call his mother a bitch. She said she's had she's had him. It, it was oh, there you a go. Here comes the bus. Here it comes. Here it comes. I, What's I know what say? you're gonna say. Go ahead, say it again. No. You told your son to call your mother, his mother, a bitch. She kept having him run in there and smack me, tell me no, and call me a a, a bastard and. So you just had to have him call her a bitch. And it was childish of me, yes. He also admitted to calling the boys dumbass and retard. Not the retard. I told him dumbass, not retard. No, you told him retard. He has no reason why. He's no part of the show. He just writes down what you say. I did not say yeah, he was did. a retard. The subject refused to be tested on the question of trying to hook up with Ashley while Melissa was in labor. He stated that he and Ashley did talk about their past relationship during that time that Melissa was in labor. He stated that she asked him 
Why did he leave her and if he loved her? He told her that he did care for her, and if things did not work out with him and Melissa, he would like to get back together with her. Oh, oh, oh. oh I didn't. Oh, really? No. You scum. Really? No, I. You are such a scum, Chris. Yeah, you're going to wait time and labor to say anything like this? With your son who freaking quit breathing on me? And this is how you do it. And at least, by the way, Grandma here stayed at the hospital the whole time with her. Mm. I was there more than what you were, and you were his father. Oh, by the way, I bought him diapers. Who? Who do you think? He Who has are we diapers. talking about? He has diapers. <laughs> Did he? I bought him diapers. Does that make me the daddy? I'm a better daddy than you. Well, if you guys would have picked up the phone, I would have known. <laughs> You to no, tell it, you it, that when your I called, son needs diapers? When I called, you could have picked up the phone and told me, hey. Oh, you don't why, why should I pick up, pick up the phone on you? You know what? The truth of it is, I don't think anybody could stand on a stage right now and be surprised. Surprised at what happens to you when you start thinking it's a good idea to have children with a man you don't even know for a month. That's, in all honesty, you women now need to focus on your children be good mothers, be a good grandmother, be in your daughter's life, and, and that's where the focus needs to be. And in the future, make better decisions on who you're with, who you lay down with, who you think about having children with. It shouldn't be one month. I don't know what the magic number is, but I certainly would say one month, one year is not enough to know somebody long enough to decide to start bringing children into the world. It's not enough. And for you, I got one word for you. Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. Steve, I've been going crazy. I'm in love with this guy. He comes in and out of my life. There is no relationship. We had sex. He denies that him and I ever did anything. When's the last time you had sex with her? Never did. Never kissed her? Nope. Never hugged her? Nothing. Never got naked for her? Nope. She says that she pleasures you. That's what she says. He says that I'm stalking him. She started calling me 24 hours a day. I moved three times. He told me he loved me. He proposed to me. I actually got two police reports on her last night. Now he's with this other girl. Has his girlfriend ever confronted you? You need to leave us the hell alone. You called this work, almost got him fired. Everybody knows you're crazy. Why the heck do you think you can do this to us? There ain't no us! You really are lucky that I'm not her dad. Because if I was, I'd be kicking your ass right now. You took a lie detector test, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's get to the results. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with Wade? She answered yes, and you answered no. Did Wade ever tell you that he loved you? And she answered yes, and you answered no. And the results for every answer that you asked. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Jessica. And Jessica, why are you here? Well, Steve, I've, I've been going like crazy. More or less, um, I'm in love with this guy. And one minute he tells me he loves me, and then the next he tells me he doesn't love me. And I don't know what to do anymore because it's driving me crazy because, you know, he comes in and out of my life, and I'm going crazy. More or less, I met him six, six years ago. Um, we had a, a great start. We met at the park with some friends, and then um, after that, um, we started uh, hanging out, you know, just him and I. And... Um, it was really fun, and we started to get to know each other. We started liking each other. There was chemistry there. Um, after we started having that chemistry, there wasn't much of a spark because I'd admit that I liked him, but he never admitted that he liked me. So after that, um, we had sex. It was about four years ago, and since then, I've been giving him oral sex. And now he denies that him and I ever did anything, and he says that I'm stalking him because I call him at home and I call him at work and stuff to try to get a hold of him because I care for him because it's my emotions on the line and I'm the one that wants to be with him but why is it you you know you and I have this going off and on off and on this past year at the beginning of the year 
he came back from being with this girl for several months. I guess they were engaged and stuff. And when he comes back, he proposes to me over the phone. And, you know, I want to be with you. I love you. Please, will you be with me? And I turned him down because I didn't want to be his rebound. And then after this, um, so, you know, him and I keep going off and on with me giving him oral sex. And I keep calling well, him. I'm just curious. Why do you do that if he doesn't tell you that he likes you? You say, I mean, this is six years. This isn't six weeks that it's going back and forth. This is six years. You say he he's not reciprocating his feelings towards you. Why would you keep because it's, doing that for him if he's not giving you anything? When him and I are alone. <laughs> because it's a different well, I, I, story. I want you to calm down because everything's going to be okay. So, I know, but it's a different story when him and I are alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're doing something to him. <laughs> no, but it's not just me doing something to him. It's the way he treats me. So what are you saying? He treats you really nice when you're alone? And when you're in public in front of other people or friends, he treats you differently? Yeah. And how does he treat you differently when somebody else is around? He treats me like crap. He ignores me. He doesn't want to talk to me. He... So he actually just, he's yeah. not showing you any attention. Yeah, exactly. You want to be... And I want to be the attention with him? because I love him, because I have loved him. He loved me, too. He told Did me he ever he say that me. to you? Yeah, he told me he loved me. He proposed to me. And then I told him no, because I didn't want to be the rebound. Now he's with this other girl. He's been with her for two months, and he's engaged to her. If you ask me, she's the rebound. But he doesn't need her. She, she's nothing. He can do so much better. He can have me. Because I'm a better woman, and she has baggage. She has kids. She's put living off our tax money, and no, I'm serious. What do you think well, about it? Well, what, what do you care about her? You're not trying to, you're not trying to be with her. What? Who cares about her? I mean, just a little bit of the story I've heard. It sounds like it's a guy that's using you. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to talk to him. But just from what you're describing, it seems like you have feelings for him that he's not reciprocating. And that he's a guy that, hey, you know, I'll take what I can get from you. If you're giving it, I'll take it. And now he's kind of moves on, and you're kind of obsessed with him, and he could have me. Do you, do you stalk him? I guess in a way. I mean, I call him and stuff, but I wouldn't call it stalking because to me, it's my emotions on the line. Because all How I many want times is for do you him call to him? get to know me. Like two or three times a week at the most. Oh, that's not bad. And that's really not that bad. And he thinks, oh my gosh, she's stalking me. He's, he says he's had to move four times because of you. No. I'm sorry. He no. has to change his phone 20 times, the phone number? How did I get his number? Because um, he would How call many times me. has he changed it? Since I don't know. Um, he's changed it maybe twice. He says Honestly. he's lost three jobs because of you calling? Um, I don't know. Um, where all he's worked. I know he's worked at and those are the only two jobs that I know of. He's filed two harassment complaints on you. And again, I don't even know about that at all. Has he told he doesn't want to be with you? No. Let, let's pretend I'm your father, okay? I'm your father. How, how old are you? I'm 20. 20. I could be your father. So I'm going to be your dad. Let's pretend. Hey, honey, how are you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> What's going on with your personal life? I, I don't talk to my dad like that. Well, I'm your dad now. <laughs> <laughs> because, honestly, someday I might be having the same conversation with my daughter. So I, I, I see a, a beautiful young woman, and, and as a father, I'm raising my daughter to believe in herself, and, and believe that she can be anything she wants to be. She deserves someday to have somebody that truly loves her and that's gonna be committed to her. And the same thing that I wanna to try to teach my daughter, I wanna tell you, you deserve to be treated well. You deserve to um, have somebody that's committed to you. And if they're not gonna be committed to you, then that person doesn't deserve you. He's had six years with you, right? Six years on and off? Yeah. He's taking advantage of you. I mean, I haven't met him, and maybe he's going to... A completely different story. But if, if he's going to take from you, 
and not give you anything in return, I think you have to say, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. Never kissed her. Nope. Never hugged her. Nothing. Never got naked for her. Nope. She says that she pleasures you. That's what she says. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with Wade? She answered yes. The answer is no. What do you think the results are about it? Do you know if he's currently engaged with somebody? Um, we stopped, all, like, it's been about... No, I'm saying is he with somebody else right yeah. now. And he's engaged to be married. Yeah. And have you been with him since you found out he's been engaged? No. So you said no way. Yeah. Do you think he's using you? Yeah. And you, do, do you love this I'm guy? I'm starting to realize it, but yeah, I do love him. And that's what hurts the most. And you want to be with them still? Yeah. I don't know why. I want to help. How can I help you? I just want him to stop, you know? Because it's not just me calling him, it's him calling me too. Do you, do you show up at his job? Sometimes. Still? He works, he works drive through at Do you still show up there now? Not like... To, I mean, sometimes I so go You're just to going him. there to order food? No. You're going there to see him, right? Yeah. And you're still calling him? Has his girlfriend ever confronted you or his, his fiance? And what has she said to you? Not much, just to leave him alone, but how am I to leave him alone when he contacts me too? Well, you could say, stop calling, hang up. Have you ever done that? Yeah, a couple when he times. when he calls you now, what, what, what do you talk about? You say he keeps calling you. What are you talking about? He wants to get, you know. He, he wants, wants his pleasure, but I won't give it to him because I don't. I don't want that. In and my before mouth. the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yeah. And we asked you if you've been doing these things since he's got engaged. No, it was before because before. he's he's been denying it. Okay. Oh, so he denies that he's he ever been with you? He denies that he's ever been with me or anything. And what does he say about you? That he just was friends with you or? He doesn't even, I don't know if he says he's friends with me or anything. He says that he's never been with me. He's, he's never said any of the things that I've said that he said that I know he said in my heart. Again, I'm not familiar with this kind of ter territory. I'm not really the guy that's the love counselor. I'm going to try, though. Uh, not, I don't know if I could work, but I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be completely honest with me right now. Okay. You're on the show for a reason, and it's not because you don't know. You either want to be with this guy or you don't want to be with this guy. I want to be with him. You want to be with him. Yes. Okay, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to try to get some straight answers from him, and then I'll bring you out so you can talk to him, okay? Okay. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage right back through there. Thank you. Let's bring out Wade. I never had sex with her. She never gave me all sex, <laughs> nothing like that. Slow down. You want to hit the stage first before you start talking. Well, so you know this young lady, right? Yeah. And how long have you known her? I've known her six years. Six years. And how would you describe your relationship with her? There is no relationship. Well, I'm saying. Are you friends with her? I'm casual not, I'm acquaintance? Nothing, to her. nothing. 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 Complete stranger. Nothing. Complete stranger, everything. But you say you've known her for six years. Because she bugs me. <laughs> she comes through my drive through at work, harasses me. She calls me at work, causing problems for me. So I, had, I had, I had, I lost three jobs because she came calling me, harassing me, causing trouble for me. I moved three times. So you're saying. You, where did you meet this girl six years I ago? I met her six years ago at a park with my buddy. Okay. She said my eyes were cute, beautiful, whatever the women call them nowadays, and I was attractive. Beautiful. I told her, I said, well, I'm not into thick girls. I like, I like my women thin. I was like, well, here's my note. We can be friends. Well, she abused that right. She started calling me 24 hours a day, my mom's house, How my How many cell times phone. would she call on a typical day? 50. 
50 times. 50 times. She says she calls you two, three times a week. That's why. Not, not right now. She's calling my fiance's phone. She called us three times last night harassing me. So you're saying you never had any physical contact with this young lady? None. Never? Never. Never kissed her? Nope. Never hugged her? Nothing. Never got naked for her? Nope. And f so out of the clear blue, this girl, six years, has just been stalking you? Stalking and harassing. Do you ever call the police? I actually got two police reports on harassment. You never call her? Nope. Never. Never. And you took a lie detector test before the show, too? Yep. Okay. So she says that she pleasures you. That's what she says. She must be pleasuring the wrong person, because I know it ain't me. Because <laughs> there's only one woman pleasuring me right now. And that's your fiance. Fiance. And how long have you been engaged? We've been engaged for two and a half months, and I've known her for four months. Just curious. Wouldn't you want to take some time to get to know somebody before you commit to them for the rest of your life? If you love somebody, you got to take a chance. I'm ready to settle down. I lived my life. You've lived your life? I lived my whole life. How already. old are you? I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it all, haven't you? I've done, I've done a lot of things a lot of people want to do. I'm just curious. What are those things? You've done a uh, lot of things that people want to do? I'm curious. A lot them. of things Come on, that, sit down. that don't need to be mentioned. Like what? Stealing. Nobody's gonna say anything. Stealing, thieving. What's it? Stealing, Stealing. breaking. Yeah, because I always wanted to do that. Ma making good money. Stealing and breaking. I, I even broke into drug dealers' houses, stole every penny they ever had. You got in trouble? I got busted. You go to jail? I got them. Spent the long stretch in jail? I did probation. <laughs> <laughs> pretty tough, that probation. I, huh? I bet. Yeah, pretty tough. It's like a chain gang, right? Well, I, I cleaned up. I started dating women with kids. <laughs> I started. I started dating women with kids, you know, and then... You started dating women with kids? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that, but you cleaned up. What, women, single women with no kids is bad? I just don't want nothing to do with a single woman with, without a kid. I, I'd rather have a woman with a kid. You want a family right away? I want a family. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, what's other the things that you lived your life at all at 21? I mean, I worked, I did everything. I was you doing what more I want to do. I want to settle down and start a family. But honestly, at 21, you need to slow down, honestly. It, it, because you're just going to get in relationships and you're going to get involved with these women, especially, as you're saying, women with kids, women with children, you need to take that seriously and really get to know and make sure that you're going to be a father to that child. <laughs> You need to leave us the hell alone. You called this work, almost got him fired. Everybody knows you're crazy. You really are lucky that I'm not here today. Because if I was, I'd be kicking your ass right now. There's no way you're out here. Could you be leading this Jessica on? Could you be leading her on? No. Is there anything you could be doing that Maybe she thinks that she has a chance with you. No, she's just living a fantasy. She lived six years ago. That's all she's doing is she's repeating it six over Six years is a long time to be living a fantasy. But I'm not the one living a fantasy. I'm moving on. Yeah, but how? you're not really moving on if she keeps seeping into your life. Yeah. And you, you took a lie detector test, right? Yeah. And you feel pretty comfortable that the results are going to come back and you're telling the truth no. that you haven't been with her, she's making this up. Why would somebody do this for six years if there was nothing there? She's the one that's doing it. I don't know why she's doing it. Well, anything. you must ask her at some point. No, actually, Come I Come on, I, you do uh, 50 phone calls a day and you're not asking her, hey, why are you calling me so many she, times? Well, the people that answer the phone deal with her, I don't. When's the last get, time you talked to her? I, the last time I talked to her uh, was uh, about last, last night because uh, she called and we didn't know who it was. So you answered the phone. So I answered the phone. I said, who's this? And she's like, well, what you say on the lie detector test? I was like, click. You hung up. I hung up. When's the last time you had sex with her? Never did. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> How about that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw a fast one there. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I thought you stopped for a second. No, I just stopped. Trust me, there wasn't even a stutter there. <laughs> it just came out, no. All right, someone's lying though, right? Either Somebody's you or lying. her, right? Nope. It's gotta be. Somebody's lying. Cause you're 100% nothing 
I don't have Never sure. been with this woman? She ever see you naked? Nope. The only one sees me naked is my old lady. That's the only one that ever see me naked. Now? No, she's the only one that ever see me naked. You've only been with one woman in your life? No, I've been with two. She's the second one. Okay. And she's the only one I ever loved. And you've lived your whole life already. Last time you saw her in person? Last time I saw her in person was six years ago. S you haven't seen her in six years? Until now. I don't pay attention. I don't even try looking for oh, her. Oh, okay, now I gotta call BS, man. Go ahead. You. <laughs> you haven't seen, you met this woman in a park once and you've never seen her again. She says she comes and drives through the, the drive through to see you. I work in the grill. I don't work window. They so tell me. So she can't peek through? No, she cannot see me. They see her and they tell me who's in drive through. She knows where you work. She knows where you live. You've had to quit jobs because of this woman. She's you psycho. And you haven't seen her in six years. Nope, I don't even. Try to say it without a smile. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you had sex with her? Six years. Never. Ah! I wish they were all this easy. <laughs> Let's bring out Jessica and find out what she has to say. I want to know right now why the heck you think you can do this to us. Do There's what to us? There ain't no us. The only there mm -hmm. us there is is me and my fiance. Okay. There ain't no us. Don't say there okay. Wasn't us, Don't look at me. I just there met, was okay, never so us. Not too long ago, we I was just never in love with you. I wait, never had sex with you. Wait, 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 wait. Let her talk. Not too long ago, we just have sex. <laughs> and um, not too long ago, um, you're calling me for oral sex. I never oh, even no. called you one but, bit. Oh, no. Oh, you never called I know. me? You the one Why called me on my, my fiance's phone. Ask your mama. Why don't we ask my neighbors? Ask your neighbor. Okay, because you picked me up from there. Sure and I did. And they all know it. They all see you when you're drunk. Please, I work Thursday, I sleep all day, and I got a witness right out there. I don't care, Wade, because you know I don't damn care. well you're lying. I was never in love with you. I never you asked you to lying. marry me. Oh, Nothing. okay. So that's why never you called me. Never had sex with That's you. why you called me after Call you came you. back from Walkerton. Yeah, saying, right. I love you. I love you. Will you be with me? Will you marry me? I'm, I'm, but oh, no. But oh, no. I'm the one lying. Yeah. Let me ask you something. You you heard what he was saying backstage, right? Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I meet Wade, and he's, hey. He's a 21-year-old goofball like we all were at 21. Why do you want to be with this guy? I, I mean, I'm just, wait, I'm just going to say this. Oh, yes. I'm believing her. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that at some point you're stringing this young girl along. I think you're taking advantage of her. I think now you're covering up because you got this fiancé, and I think there's no way in hell for six years that this girl is calling you, coming around your work and everything else, if you're not leading her on just a little bit. Thank you. you start looking at her like she's somebody's daughter. Maybe you would treat her a lot different. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with Wade? She answered yes. The answer is no. What do you think the results of your life? I want you to look at her and say, I'm not going to have sex with you anymore. You had to have sex with her, not to say it, just to say that. I never had sex with her, so why am I going to say that? And you I got mean, that don't make no sense. Okay. How about some of the things you've been saying? That make sense? Probably yeah, do not. they? <laughs> That's what I love to know, do they? Well, good. You can love to now, know what's whatever your, you want. Now, what's your fiance's name? Uh, Jonica. Jonica? Let's bring her out. Let's hear what she has to say. Okay. Just, just talk. You need to leave us the hell alone. Okay. You need to stop calling. You did call three times last night. Oh, hey, where are you guys at? You want to party? Da, da 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 You called his work, almost got him fired, cussing people out because they don't want you to talk to him. Everybody knows you're crazy. Leave him, leave us alone. He is with me, not with you. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen. 
You here, this is your fiance, right? Yes, it and, is. And you have a child? Yes. How old is your child? 17 months old. 17 months old. Do you think that really you know this guy? He's awesome with my son. He's great. He's, I, he's, I'm not, I'm not, I probably, I'm sure, because he's a child himself and children play together well. <laughs> That's, And what do you like about Wade? His personality. He is like a kid. He's very childish, but he's also, he takes care of his responsibilities. He pays his bills. He, he takes care of things. He's not irresponsible at all. And he does, he is a great guy. He treats me awesome. He treats me better than anybody's ever treated And do you believe that everything that he said about this woman? I do. You I believe because he's... <laughs> This has never been this has never been this big of an issue where it's been brought to lie detector tests and things like that. But I do believe him. I believe everything he's told me. You that believe he's, he's never, never been with her? I do. And do you find it strange that she would, after six years, be I constantly find pursuing this man? Pretty psycho, yeah, I do. And so, and you believe no physical contact, no leading on? I believe maybe possibly in the past they might have done something that he doesn't want to admit to because you know he's like you know whatever. But I don't believe that it's carried on and carried on the way wouldn't, she says Wouldn't it, it be has. fair to you to say, hey, you're going to marry me. I have a child. You need to be honest and yeah. upfront with me. Yeah. Well, maybe you should do it now. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if it was just you, I'd say go play house together. But you have a child that you have to yeah. think about. And I think that if you're going to bring a man into your house, then you need to know about that man. And if these are questions and he's saying she's a problem in your life, you need to demand these answers. And I think you should ask Wade the truth. Ask for the truth. What's the truth? Well, you know the truth. I don't care what that lie detector test says. I know I didn't have sex with oh. her. Oh. How do you, well, you don't, they don't care die. what it says. You don't know what it says. Nah, but still, well, I never had sex with her. You're assuming that it says something bad. <laughs> Don't laugh like that. It's not cute. Not yeah, cute. that is not cute. Well, it's obviously for a reason. You're huh? thinking bad for a reason. Thinking bad. So you might I don't as well think tell her bad. the truth. All right, let's let's get to the results. Let's do it. <laughs> you guys, everybody, we got to stand up for these results. <laughs> and again, I had you know I'm having a little fun here, but the the, the truth of it is, you guys, you know. You want to play around and everything, that's fine. But you have to be an adult. Yeah. And again, I want to tell you, because I hear all these stories up on the stage. If you watch my show, the one biggest problems we have is people jumping in these relationships, bringing strange men into their houses. And I'm not saying Wade's a bad guy. Just get to know the guy first before you commit to him. Jessica was given a lie detector test, and she was asked, did you ever have sexual intercourse with Wade? She answered yes. Did you ever have oral sex with Wade? She answered yes. Did you have oral sex with Wade in the last six months? And the answer is yes. Did Wade, Wade ever tell you that he loved you? And she answered yes. And the results for Jessica is that she has told the truth. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm the. I'm the machine now. You ever tell her you love her? Nope. Never. Never. Ever have sex with her? No. She ever give you oral sex? No. No reason that you ever let her on. Nope. Okay. Results for the man that you're gonna marry. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with Jessica? And the answer is no. Did you ever have oral sex with Jessica? You answered no. Did you have oral sex with Jessica in the last six months? And you answered, no. Did you ever tell Jessica that you loved her? And you answered, no. And the results for every answer that you were asked, Wade has not told the truth. Big shocker there. Now, Really, in the big scheme of things, of the, some of the, a lot of the subjects that we've covered on this show, not the most shocking 
not the most serious thing. The only thing, unfortunately, it is here's a girl, young girl that wants to be happy in her life, that doesn't want to be used. And someday you might have a child and you might have a daughter. And if somebody would treat her, Wade, the way that you're treating her, you'd want to go punch that man. You'd want to go hurt that guy. Why can't she be happy? Why can't she have somebody? Well, let her go. All she got to do is go find somebody. Wait, here's the, here's, here's, here it is. You've been lying on the stage. You know you've been going seeing her. No, I you haven't. Know, you know what, Wade? Stop lying to me, okay? Stop lying to me. Stop being, at some point, it was, it's cute, and you're being a little bit jerky, and it's fine. But then when you make somebody cry, when you make somebody want you and they can't have you, that's a pretty crappy thing to do. That's, that's, that's wrong. You really are lucky that I'm not her dad. Because if I was, I'd be kicking your ass right now. Doesn't she deserve to be treated with a certain amount of respect? Hey, you're a young guy. I know young guys want to fill their needs and, 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 and get what they can get. But, okay, six years now, Wade. At some point, do you say, okay, I'm not going to do this to you anymore? I'm being selfish? That's what you're being right now. You're being selfish. All you care about is yourself. And you're going to learn as a father, forget being selfish. If you want to be a good father, you don't be selfish anymore. You don't think about yourself anymore. And like I was trying to like, pretend like I was her father. Why don't you pretend you were her father? Would you like the way you were treating her? Would you like the way some young man be treating her? And I think if you do that and you start looking at her like she's somebody's daughter, maybe you would treat her a lot differently too. get a lot of opportunities in life like this. Is there anything you want to say to this young lady? No, yeah, leave us alone. Don't call me, Wade, don't I want Wade, to do it. Or... Wade, that's really not. I think maybe a little uh, giving her something that she needs, maybe telling the truth, apologizing. I think you could do that. I think, Wade, you're not a bad guy. I think you could be a really decent human being, and I think as you get older, you might be. But how about taking a first step here and letting her have some comfort and saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing all that to you. I'm not going to do it anymore. Nothing wrong with you loving her. She seems like a beautiful woman, nice lady. She is. She's okay, nice. so go be happy. But can't you let her be happy? She can be happy all she wants. Wow, this, this is the guy. He's hard-headed, very hard-headed. He's cold-hearted. That's what he is. How about apologizing for what you did wrong? Sorry. How about talking to her for 30 seconds? And I don't want to talk to her. You don't want to talk to no. her. Anything you want to say to him? Have a good life. Thank you, I will. Because you know what? You want to lie? You know, now she knows who you really are. So I hope you're proud of yourself. Because, you know, I did have feelings for you, but if this is how you want to act, you're never going to grow up. And I know that I'll be able to find a better man. Do you have any re reaction to him? You hear the results. I don't think you needed to hear the lie detector results to know that he was lying. I mean, she completely passes. He completely fails. Doesn't it concern you at all? the way he's acting towards her. Now, she admits, you know, she probably shouldn't have pursued him as long, but he did lead her on. He kept doing things with her to make her think that she, now she made some bad mistakes. Everybody does young. But then when you know you made these mistakes, how about the way he's treating an, uh, this young girl? So cold hearted, so mean. You, you don't see the possibility that someday he may do it to you? This doesn't give you any concern at all, the yes, way he's acting? Does. Is there anything you want to say to her or to him? Not really. Not right now. I know it's for the show and all of it. No, I, hey. I just... The thing is, 
She's been telling the truth. She's been mm. treated unfairly. I know. She just wanted to be honest. If he would have said all this time, if he would have stopped sleeping with her, stopped taking what she was offering, you wouldn't have this problem, Wade. Six years is a long time. We're not talking about six weeks. Six years. I say you haven't even seen her in six years. Oh, I saw her once in a park. You make this girl cry? Is it good, is it good feeling to make somebody cry? Well, I'll tell you something right now, Steve. I slept with her once. Six years ago. Four years ago. Six. Okay. Count your days because okay. I know Wade, my days. Wade, Wade, so you slept with her one time. But you, Six but years Wade, ago. Wade, you slept mm -hmm. with her. And hey. ever since then, she arrested me. Hey. That's why she arrested me. Hey, six years ago, you slept with her. But you've been taking. But I was drunk. Thank you. We and were I at was. a park and no, you were not drunk. You're a liar. But the thing is, you've been doing things with this girl within the past six months. No. You have been, Wade. And you're lying about it. I'm telling you, someday, it's going to be a hurtful thing. Somebody does this to you. I haven't somebody been done to me for the longest you. time. You know what? So why do it to somebody else? Do you think you're setting a good example for her child? I am right now, yeah. When I'm around him and I help him out, I take care of him. You know what? Sometimes when you make a bad mistake like you've been doing with this young girl, it takes a man to admit it. It takes a man to apologize and give a heartfelt apology to make somebody stop crying, to make somebody want to stop being with you, Wade. And being as mean and cold-hearted as you are, I don't know if you're giving her anything. Six years of taking advantage of this young girl, doesn't she deserve something, Wade? Hmm? I already said I'm, I'm sorry. That... You know what? You're lucky that I'm not her father. You know that? You really are lucky that I'm not her dad. Because if I was, I promise you, Wade, I'd be kicking your ass right now. Take your dream guy and go have a nice life together. I wish you all the best. I really do. Goodbye. Ma'am, mm -hmm. this way, please. If old Wadey's mad, tell him to come on back out. She's mad? <laughs> I know I'm probably supposed to say something to make you feel better. I'm not Dr. Phil. I don't know anything about psychology or anything like that. All I know is your life is better without that guy. If he's mad, hold on, hold on. If old Wadey's mad, tell him to come on back out. She's mad? I'm not causing a problem. I'm done. Are you who, are Man. you mad, Jonica? Yes. Are you gonna run? Okay, You're gonna I'm leave sad. your girl? Yeah. You're gonna run and leave your girl? I ain't gonna leave her. That's what Well you just were you just running out the door. Look, take a good look at his actions today. It's gonna speak loudly for him. I ain't never gonna screw her over. I love her to death. I love her son to death. I would give my life for her. I'm sure you do I'd love this girl. I'd take a bullet for her. I'm, well, and, and then if Steve comes backstage, you'll run out the door. <laughs> a lot of, lot of this courage This is there. my life. OK. And what? You deserve this great girl? I believe she's a great girl. And you deserve it, right? She, she's mad at me. She's mad at me. She's I mad at you. I just think it's that. Just because you're embarrassed that you slept with someone doesn't mean that you have to go on national TV and lie about it and get caught and then continue to lie. Yeah, you know what? How about, uh, how about, uh, Jonica, how about him having to tell you the truth? If you're going to marry this guy, he should be able to open up about himself and what he was doing. You have that right, don't you? I'm not lying to you. There was nothing to say. You've been me. lying to her. You've been lying to her ever since. You've been lying to her. You've been lying to everybody. 
And now you're still lying after you get caught lying. When will you stop lying? You're, I'm, you're I'm pissed off. I'm done lying. I'm you were pissed off lying. when you found out that you had to take a lie detector test. Yeah. Like, that was my first clue that, oh, my God, he's going to fail, he's going to fail the lie detector test. I was hoping that you wouldn't fail, like, the one where she was, that she dropped, that she said that you guys did, like, two weeks ago, which I know is a complete lie because. I was with you. Yeah. I was, like, freaking out that you might have had, you might have failed that one because you were freaking out about the lie detector test. If I would have known there was a lie detector test, I would have never came here. I would have never came here. But it's six months ago. Six, I'm sorry. Six months ago, you couldn't admit to that. Like, it's that horrifying to you to admit that you slept with some girl that you're not that proud of? Because I don't remember six months ago. I well, truly if you don't, don't remember doing it, then it wouldn't have been failed on the lie detector test. Should, why should I say yes to something I don't remember? But you lied the whole time out there. You lied on the lie detector test. Did you think you were smart enough you were going to beat it? No. Why'd you even take it then? Why would not you just come out through the show and just say, hey, I'm sorry. Sorry I strung you around all these years. Sorry to lie for you. You love her so much you can't tell her the truth? I'm That's sorry. love? I'm sorry to lie to you, baby. Oh, oh I what? Love it. What did you lie to me about? I everything. All three of them, right? Okay. Wow. You lied about all three of the questions. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Now I'm just curious. So. You know so... what you need to do? Go tell her you're sorry. See, I'm, Seriously. I'm proud of you. You've been freaking out on her this whole time, but she hasn't even been lying. Well, she's getting treated the way she's getting treated because she's harassing me. I would have been treating you. I would have been, been harassing you, too. I would have been like, you're a worthless piece of everything. I would have been harassing you, too, if you just up and said, whatever, you know, give me some what I want, and then bye. And then you lied to me about it. So now you actually say that you care about. Go, t go tell her you're sorry. Um, don't apologize to her and mean it. Oh. Because whether you, whether she's like this I horrible person that you make her out to be or not, she's still a person. Yeah, you could talk to her all you want. In fact, I'll send you out to eat tonight. I'll pick up the bill. <laughs> but not until you go and apologize decently to that girl. Okay, talk to her no, I'm not going to let you talk. Hmm? Oh, mumble, mumble, mumble. We're not no, listening. I'm sorry for everything. No. What? I said I'm sorry for everything. How about apologizing for lying all this time, making her look bad? I said I'm sorry for everything. Well, break it down, Wade. I'm sorry for lying to you and leading you on. I apologize. I apologize to you. I apologize to Jonica. All I ask is you to I'm not going to call you no more, so don't, just don't call her phone no more. That's fine. I don't need trouble for us. You were doing good for about 30 seconds. I apologize, though, OK? All I'm going to say is, you're a beautiful girl. Thank you. You deserve somebody better, just like anybody does you deserve somebody you don't deserve somebody to be treating like you that treating you like he's been treating you and the good thing is the truth came out you're not a stalker it, it, it makes him look bad and you can go on and you can meet somebody you don't need to put up with a guy like that okay thank you let's go my wife three months ago decided to get married to another man. She's married to both of you right now, you're saying? Yes. Do you have a baby together? 11 months old. And she's now pregnant again. Which husband is the father? He is. All right, let's meet husband number two. Let's bring out John. You know she's married at this point? Yes. Okay. You're taking the child away from the father, or are you taking the mother away from the child? She doesn't love him. You're like this slimy, dirt ball and Michael's this pathetic guy no 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 oh no, yeah no. come on this is my wife no, no, my, my wife my hey, she's gonna be hey. with me hey. because hey. she's with me you had a chance to act like this at your house you're not gonna do it on my stage back your ass up right now first of all what you did is illegal why would you marry two guys 
my children deserve better and so did I. Know your facts before you want to yell at me. You're a dirtbag for marrying another guy's wife. Why did it have to come to this? You can either go out that door and be with Michael, or you can go out that door and be with John. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Michael. Why are you here, Michael? I'm here because I am married to my wife, and my wife, three months ago, decided to get married to another man. She told me she was going to uh, Las Vegas for a trip just to go have fun, and then she came uh, home about two weeks later and told me she was married, but it wasn't legal. And what do you say to that? Well, I asked her why she did it. I didn't quite understand why she wanted to go do that. And she said, well, well, it was just supposed to be a joke. And I said, well, how do you figure it's a joke? If you want to be married to me, you think it's a joke. Anywhere you get married, they're going to make it legal. So I was very upset and depressed about that. And how was your relationship with your wife before she went to Vegas? It, it was good. It was going great. Everything was fine. How long were, were, you, were you married to her when we she were went to We were married for a year. And you're still married to her now? Yes. But they... Is this a guy but, she knew? She met him in New Jersey. Talked to him on the internet. Only met him in Jersey once or twice. Talked to him on the internet. Decided to go and get him married. Married to him in about two. Did months. your wife ever cheat on? I, I'm assuming they slept together when they yes. went to Vegas, yes. right? Did she tell you that? Yes. Why are you still with her? Because deep down, she is a good person. She is a good wife. She can be a good mom. <laughs> How, okay, good, good mom, good person, good everything. Not a good wife, right? If your wife goes and marries another man and sleeps with another man and disappears for two weeks, I don't know if I want to be in that marriage. But see, I can't. Or tell. the other marriage. <laughs> She's married to both of you right now, you're saying? Yes. And have you met this other guy? Oh, yes. Yes, I've met him. I, he, went, he came down and decided to move down here. And why he was down here, he said he had enough money to stay in a motel. Well, his money ran out, and uh, out of the kindness of my heart, I let him move in because I was scared my wife was going to end up leaving while he slept on the couch. Okay. All right. Is there like, is this like a fake story or? No. <laughs> this is you. This is true. This is honest to God true. No, he's supposed to stay there for a week or two just till uh, he got a job and got some money, but instead I got to take care of him. You got to take care of oh, him. Oh, yeah, because I got to pay all the bills and make sure he got... Why money. are you doing that? Because I didn't want to lose my wife because I know who she is. So he's living under your roof? Yes. And does he have his own bedroom? No, he slept on the couch. He slept on the couch. Where does your wife sleep? My wife slept down in the bedroom with me. Do you work? Yes, right now I'm laid off. But I'm saying, at the time he was living with you, did you work? No, I had unemployment coming in. Okay, so what, you three of you all just sitting around the house? No, he'd be asleep on the couch half the time, or he'd be going to the library all the time. You don't seem too broken up about that you're... No. That, one, <laughs> your, your wife married another guy, and two, you're letting the guy live in your, your house. No, not anymore, because we got in a big old spat. What you getting a big old spat about? Because one night I decided to go to bed early while she stayed up, and I walked into our room to see where she was at, and he went to try to kiss her, and I got, well, mad as could be, and... Decided to punch a wall, and he walked outside and got in his car, and uh, after that, everything went downhill between me and her, and she ended up After leaving. that, it went downhill. Oh, and yeah, it went downhill more, and she, she ended up moving out with her family along with him. And you have, do you have a baby together? Yes. Oh, my God. How old is your baby? 11 months old. And she's now pregnant again? Yes. Who's, who, which husband is the father? He is. And how, were you sleeping with your wife? No. Why not? No, there because was he no, was? There, there, there was no intimacy at the time. There was just nothing there. Okay, again, why are you staying with her? <laughs> My stage. If there's no intimacy, there's nothing there. She, the guy's moved into your house, husband number two. He, she's sleeping with this guy. Again, you, you say you don't want to lose her. 
What's what's to lose? You already lost her. She married another guy. When's the last time you had sex with her? Last night. <laughs> okay. Why are you here? I'm here because I want to be able to see if me and my wife can make it and get the help that we need to see if we can see if see what she wants, see what, if she wants what, him or me. What help do you need? To find out if she wants me or him. Well, she's sleeping with the other guy. She married the other guy. The other guy moved into your house. She's pregnant by the other guy. Yeah. And you would still, you want her to pick you. Work things out, yeah. I, I possibly could have taken a little Does she yeah. give you any idea that, or, or any inclination that she wants to work it out? Yeah. She stays, she stays with me about twice a week. She comes there. And, and how often talking. does she stay with him? Well, she, she's uh, there, well, the rest of the week. <laughs> I don't know. Five and two. <laughs> well, they're, you they're, know. <laughs> and so what is so special about this woman that you would allow this? All these things, her married, sleeping around, being with you two nights and with her other husband five nights. Because before all this, every, she, she was a great person. She had the best personality in the world. She loved to have a good time. She's a wonderful mother. She took care of everything. Uh, if I got tired, she'd be more will, willing to take care of the children, everything. I mean, but that's all perfect. changed now, right? Is she yeah. still good to you now? Yeah, I mean, she, she's, she's changing. I mean, she's been, she's been great. But when she's walking out the door, and she's not going to spend the night with you, and you know she's going to spend the night with him. Wh what are you thinking? What? How do you? How do you feel? Oh, it upsets me. It kills me. And like that's that. that's not enough to say. Yeah, no. This is too crazy. I'm out of here. You no. married somebody else? Go ahead. Go be with them. I just can't let go that easy. So you come to Chicago to be on my show, oh, yeah. and you want her to make a decision whether she picks husband yeah. number one or husband number two. Yeah. And. So she spent the night in your hotel room last night? Yeah. Yeah, she spent the night with me, yeah. She spends time with him. She spends time with you. It's not a joke anymore. What does she say to you? That she does want to be with me. She wants to work things out. Then why does she go back and be with him? Because right now, I'm in the process of getting a home. Oh, you're homeless? No, I live with my family. Okay, whether you got a house or not, I mean, most people, if they lost their house, they're not going to go, okay, well, I'll go stay with my other husband. I'll go stay with my other wife. It doesn't work like you. It's, first of all, it's illegal to be married to two people, right? Yes. You're allowing your wife to go back and forth to her other husband. This isn't even, you know, a, a, a story about young people cheating on each other. People do that. Who cares? This is a woman that you had a child with, that you were living with. This is your wife, and she marries another man. And uh, come on, Michael. I don't find it normal that you would invite this man to live in your house because you were afraid of losing your wife. What the hell are you thinking, Michael? Why not grow a pair and throw the guy out, not even have an invite in your house? <laughs> Another guy is having his way with your wife. He's living under your roof, eating your food, having your wife, doing whatever he wants. She spends more time with him. What exactly does somebody have to do to piss you off? Takes a lot. Hurt my family, hurt my kid. I think another man coming in your life and taking your yeah. wife, that's hurting you. That's hurting your family. It did. And it scared, it scared me for, well, okay, if, uh, well, if I did this, what's she going to do? Is she, she going to leave? Is she going to take everything? Is she going out of my life Can't you be all right by yourself? No. Why not? It's been three years, and I've had this life, and I, uh, I loved the life I had. But that life is gone. No, I don't believe that, though. I can't believe that. Well, Not until you... she tells me. What's that? Not unless she tells me. I can't believe it. All right, you know what? We're going to find out. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to the new husband, and I'll bring you out at some point. On my stage.
All right, let's meet husband number two. Let's bring out John. And they even picked the same chair. Oh, my bad. No, yeah, you can sit there. I'm, I'm just making Dang, a light at the moment. <laughs> How you up, doing? Steve? How you doing, John? Good, and yourself? I think you might be the first guy ever to wear a suit on my show. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta look good. So, Jessica, you meet her over the internet, Correct. Michael says. Did she ever tell you that she was married? Yes. And so, tell me the story. Well, we met online. Uh, we spent a couple of days together. Uh, back in September of 2008. Then she went back to Michael, obviously, back here, uh, back in Illinois. So we continue our conversation, you know, and I invite her back to New Jersey. And you know she's married at this point? Yes. Okay. But and you know they have a child together? Yes. Okay. Supposedly. Not supposedly, they do. I'll wait for DNA testing on that one. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It doesn't matter about DNA. No. There is a child. Yes. Okay. Whether you want to believe it's not his or it's his. Right. No. There's a man course. taking care of a child with a woman that he's married to. Who the hell are you to decide whether there's DNA or, or whatever? I'm not, I'm not one to decide. You know what? I don't like that smarmy answer of yours. So why don't you stand the hell up? Okay, so you know there's a child. She comes out to New Jersey, then what happens? Ah, uh, we spend two weeks together. Then I ask her to marry me. And we fly over to Las Vegas and get married. And wouldn't you say, hey, you know what, whatever, you met her, you know her for a couple weeks, you know she's married, you know she's raising a child with this man, who says he is the father, which I'm going to take it on face value, he is. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have to prove to any other man that my children are mine, and I certainly don't have to give a damn DNA test to anybody. So what the hell are you doing marrying a woman that's already married? Well... Of course, any man would ask himself that same question. Now, of course, she, when we were talking over the internet, goes on and states that they don't love each other anymore, they're planning to get a divorce. So, I say, great. Then that means that gives me an opportunity. Okay, you know what, you're a mm -hmm. tool, but... <laughs> You know, I, I don't know. I don't know guys like you and Michael. I really don't. What, why don't you say, get divorced before you marry me? Why, if you, do you love her? Oh, with every ounce of my with the, body. With every ounce of your body. Every ounce. Every ounce. So you let your, the woman that you love mm -hmm. commit a crime. You know it's illegal to be married to more than one person. Yes, it is. Do you, do you, do you feel okay that you're tearing no. up a family? No, I'm not okay with it, but she doesn't love him. Okay. You know what? That's, that's, that could be it. If she doesn't love him, everybody's entitled to, Everybody. if you don't love somebody and she loves you, she could be with you. But why wouldn't you demand, I want you to be divorced before you marry me? Because there may not have been another opportunity like there was then. How do you feel that the woman that you love, that you married, is married to another man? Well, I would have to say, mm, the word that comes to mind is hate. Who do you I, hate? Him. Why? <laughs> well, because he's never been honest. How do you know? Oh. How about the wife that marries two guys? How, how long do you know this woman? Known her for a good now five months. Five months. Mm -hmm. And you can determine in that five months, the woman that you married that's married to another guy 
that she's so honest and, oh my God, a relationship gone bad, she wouldn't have any incentive to say anything bad about this guy. No one is perfect in this world. You world. hate him, right? With a passion. Why'd you move into his house? He, if I can clap, why, why, <laughs> why, why? <laughs> As they say. As you who may says. Uh, you As may, who says. Anyone can say this. You and may, yeah, I could say it, but <laughs> who you, cares? May, you may hate a man, but. You'll sleep on his couch. No. <laughs> no. But. Especially if you're broke. <laughs> and you already you, married his wife. Mm -hmm. Is that what the saying goes? No. Say, you can offer help and you can take it, but it is your choice to offer it. He and it's offered, your choice he, to take it. Yeah, and I took it as an act of kindness. <laughs> yeah, and it was an act of kindness to steal his wife and marry her? Mm, to give her a better life, yeah. Was it an act of kindness to get her pregnant while she's still married to him? Was that an act of kindness? I would say to be a better family, yeah. For who? For us, me and her. So he's just out of the picture. Screw him. Forget him. Forget the other kid, too, right? No. So what, you're going to take his child away from him? You're no. gonna take. What are you going to take? You taking the child away from the father, or are you taking the mother away from the child? What are you doing? Neither. My involvement is with her, the future, the present, and the new family that is made among us. When did you get discharged? <laughs> Discharge? Never. I never served in the army. Because <laughs> you know what you're saying is not normal. Not even close to normal. Like, you're like this crazy guy in a suit. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. No. Come on. This is my wife. No, 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 my wife. No, no, no. She's going to be hey, with me. Hey, because hey, she loves like me. You had a chance to act like this at your house. You're not going to do it on my stage. Back your ass up right now. Uh, what, I mean, this must be the most magical woman in the world. He stays with his wife. He lets her cheat on him. And he's afraid to lose her. So he lets the guy that's sleeping with her married her, sleep on his couch. And then you, you'll sleep on the couch. I'll give you a nice little cover, too. I'll give you a nice little blanket. Yeah, exactly. It was, did you know, he, he, beige. His refrigerator full of food? No. No? Really. How'd you eat? I actually was working at that time when I moved in. Well, why'd you move in then? If you had a job, you're making your money. Why don't you stay at the motel? Because when you work as a server, during these economic times, you really can't Oh, these get... economic times. Well, think about it. Could you really find a normal paying job during, towards the end of the month? Uh, no, what do you know about normal? I'm actually a graduate of the University of <laughs> as an accountant with an associate uh, degree. I'm sorry, say that again? Sure. I am a graduate of the University of with <laughs> an associate's degree. Okay. I took college courses at the University of Maryland when I was in the Marine Corps. And I don't have an associate degree, and nobody else is married to my wife. Hey. I like the way that you turned into a robot during the middle of my interview. Well, you know, I just had to make it clear I'm you. barely a high school graduate, so you do have to make it clear for me. Yeah, well, I, I guess so. I've, I've had to fight and claw my way to the position I am at today with an associate degree. Well, everyone fights. Not claw. him. Oh. Not Michael doesn't fight. You don't fight. You let your wife remain married to another man. And you let your wife go spend a couple nights a week spending with him. Mm. And what do you think they're doing when she's with him? From what I'm told, of course. And from what I'm told, he took care of business last night. Hey. That's his thing. You know, it's his word. 
Whether it's the truth or not, we'll never know. Did your wife spend the night in a hotel room with him last night? I don't know. You don't know? Not my business. Was she laying next to you last night? No. So there's a good chance she was laying next Probably. to him. Probably. And so you allow this? No. I actually was told, you know, because obviously, you know, some people tend to tell the truth, and you have to give them the benefit of doubt sometimes. Who would that be? Jessica. She tells the truth? Hey, from what I know, she's been truthful. Let me ask you, mm -hmm. hypothetically, yes. so crazy idea I'm going to throw at it, yeah. If she did sleep with him last night, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Now, that's a very good question. What am I going to do? Hmm. Slow it down for me. Sure, not a problem. Let me no. break it down for no. you. Do you always talk like this? No. Or just no. for me? I'm yeah, special? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, come on. It is you. It is me. Steve Wilkos. The man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Better watch out. I might take your wife. Oh. Uh, that's right. I don't like to share. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. if she did sleep with her husband number one, mm -hmm. what would you do about it? To be honest with you, he has every right. Because he is the husband. I'm not just going to go and say, okay, you know what? You can get the hell out of my life because you slept with him. <laughs> this is real nut jobs, man. Hey. <laughs> because you are who you are, right? You're, this isn't like a story you're telling to just be on TV. This is the truth. Yeah. Uh, why, why would I make something uh, That's what it? I tell people. Yeah, ask exactly. Me. I say, why would they say this? <laughs> why would you do this? I, I yeah, I, you don't get paid for coming on my show, right? No. And we have legal documents mm -hmm. that you... These are both marriage certificates mm -hmm. for each one of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's, this one's Michael's marriage certificate, mm -hmm. and this is John's yeah. marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. So you are legally married. You got married in Vegas, and mm -hmm. they got married in uh, whatever state this is. Mm -hmm. Oh, state of Illinois. Now, there you go. Now, you're living with her family, right? Correct. You're living with her. She lives with you five nights a week. She lives with uh, Michael a couple nights a week. You're living with her family. What, 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 what do you have to offer her? I have more to offer her than he will ever be able to. Because you have to ask yourself this. Why would he let his wife go to another state and be with another man. Well, did he know that she was going to Las Vegas to be with another man? Well, obviously, since Were that's you, what he states. He didn't say that she said that she was going to Vegas. He didn't know that she was going to go and be with you and get married. I, and you know what? Mm -hmm. I tend to believe that for some reason. Like See, I said. You know what? Here's, here's what I got so far. Mm -hmm. Really, and I'm, I'm just giving you my opinion. Mm -hmm. You're like this slimy dirt ball. You know, uh, that's how I feel about you. Oh. And Michael's this pathetic guy, but he's not a bad guy. I, don't, I think he needs to stand up and be a man and say, I don't even, he wants his wife to make a decision. I think he should make the decision for her and say, you want to be with this guy? Go right ahead. Michael, Michael, want, the husband number one wants to say something to husband number two. Oh, Let's where bring is he out. coming out? Where is he at? Which way is he coming? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. No. Come on. This is my wife. No, 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 my wife. No, no, no. She's going to be hey, with me. Hey, because hey, she, she loves me. No, if you're she loves hey, me, bro. Hey, 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 you know, listen to shut Steve. up. Shut up. Right? Hey, listen. Right. Listen to Steve. You had a chance to act like this at your house. You're not going to do it on my stage. You now, now you want to play tough guy? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Well, I'm telling you, you're not going to act this way on my stage. You had a chance to do it in your house. You invited that guy into your house. He slept on your couch. If you wanted a piece of him, you could have took care of it at home. So, 
I'm gonna give you a chance to talk, but I suggest you back your ass up right now. Now, I'm gonna step off the stage, but I'm telling you right now, you better not go after that man. Like I said, you had all the chance in the world. You're not gonna put on a little show for my audience now. Do you understand me? You yeah. talk with your mouth. You're a better man than me on what day? What day have you ever done anything for? You lay on the couch all day? Oh, let's have the kids over so I can just sit there and do nothing. 90% of the time I was buying her cigarettes and stuff so you could smoke them. Otherwise, you steal her cigarettes. Why should she be sleeping? And you're telling me you're going to be a better man than me by taking care of her, but you've done nothing for her. But lay around and do nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. I haven't done anything for her. Oh, no. Okay. When was the last time you really held down a job? Oh, wow. Well, I got one right exactly. now. Exactly. None. Oh, I've been making income. Wrong answer. Oh, you're right. You're... I, I've not had no oh. income at all. I had a, oh, no, no, no. I that's right. Everything else. That's, what do you no, no, have? No. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait. I'm Unemployment sorry. You're with coming in. Yes. How's, how's oh. this about jobs? Oh, hold on. We're getting to it. Hold How on. about, no. But, let's get, let's get to the fact that you married his wife. Let's start there. I see the smiling idiot, and the, you know, the guy that is, I don't know what no. the hell's your problem. Remember, crazy man in a suit. Yeah, the crazy yeah, man you. in a suit, thank <laughs> you. But you know what's sad here is, he has a child, there's an 11 month old child involved in this story, there's a baby on the way that he admits that is yours, and you scare the crap out of me as a father, thinking <laughs> that you're a dad, that you're gonna be a dad, because you're just standing there smiling, and I want to let this guy go and wipe the smile off your face, but he had the chance. Yeah, you had the chance. But like I said, if he And won. I'm like, uh, but I mean, like, you know, how about having some, some self-respect for yourself? Both of you guys. You, you married to me? You married another guy? Goodbye. You know what? You want to be with me? Get divorced first before you be with me. You know she's going back and forth on both you guys. You slept with her last night? Oh, yeah. Okay. You slept with her. Are you lying about her or are you telling no. the truth? Telling the truth? I'm telling When's the truth. When's the last time you slept with her? The night before. The night before. And the night before that. And the night before wow, that. Wow, that's wonderful, oh, though. Sleeping with him. But sleeping with you. Where's the love? Where's the, where's the commitment? Where's the commitment? Let's let her decide who she really wants. This better be oh, the, by the best looking woman that ever walked out on my or stage. the future and the chump. Oh, the chump, the chump. That's right, chump. Crazy guy in a suit, exit there. I'll bring it back out. All right. You know, nothing in your pants, go out this way. <laughs> Let's bring out the most desirable woman in the world, Jessica. Oh, do I let her sit on my stage? I mean, really, yeah, you're pregnant. That's right, you're pregnant. But I want to know, I'll just start out real simple. Why would you marry two guys? Uh because Michael knows that I want nothing to do with him and I've been trying to get a divorce for the past year and he won't do it. And why, why do you want to get divorced from Michael? Because Michael, when I first met Michael, Michael was a great guy. He had a wonderful job. They all are job. in the beginning. Huh? They all are in the beginning. Oh yeah, I know. Right. Believe me, I've been through a lot of them. But he had I'm <laughs> sure you have. <laughs> he had a wonderful job and all of a sudden it's like he gave up. He wanted to live off of his family. He wanted to live off unemployment. It was public aid, public housing. And I got tired of it. Why would you be with John? He's living with you and your family, right? Yes. So how is he providing any more for you than Michael did? He actually has a job. Michael still has a job. Well, no then jobs. why are you living with your family? Because nobody has told anybody out here the reason that we actually left my house. Why are you living with two husbands at once anyways? I don't live with two husbands at once. You I live did with one. at one time. That wasn't my choice. Michael let that him That is your there. choice. 
you married him and then you married him and then you had the second husband move in with the first I husband. I did not have him move in. Michael went behind my back and told him he well, could Well, wouldn't you say that's crazy? I did tell him. I told him that he was freaking nuts and he needed to let him go. He needed to go back to the hotel. And Michael said, no, I'll let him stay. I need the money anyway. Why didn't you go stay in the motel with John? Because I had my children there. Well, I'm a mother before I'm a wife. Okay, that's good. So as a mother, why would you go and marry another man when you're still married to this guy? Because this guy's a You know what? We've had pedophiles on the show that were more like than you. Really? Wow. Yeah. You're one of the creepiest guys I've ever had on my show. Get off my stage. You can go out that door and be with Michael, or you can go out that door and be with John. What do you really love about John? I love how he makes me feel. And how long have you known John? I've known John for almost six months. Six months. Yep. And that's, while you're still married to another man, that's, that's enough to know somebody to jump into a, would you say it's a lifetime commitment with well, John? I don't care how long me and John know each other. I've got the rest of my no, life I'm saying, to know him. Do you, th well, it's a good idea to probably get to know somebody I didn't know really Michael. up front. So you're just marrying guys left and right you don't know? Me and Michael were on and off for this whole three years. We haven't been married for a year. How long have you been married? We will not be married for a year till May. Our son. So you've not even been married a year and you no. married another guy? Because Michael knew that I did not want for to be with For the sake of your him. children, for the sake of your children, wouldn't it be a good idea to take your time to really get to know a man before you married him for the sake of your children? Why do you keep having kids? Why'd you go and get pregnant right away with, with John? I didn't try to get pregnant with John. No, well, there's, you ever heard of responsibility? Making sure you, if you're not ready to have children, you take actions not to have children? I did take actions. I went into surgery and they told me it takes six weeks. And after eight weeks, I got pregnant. Know your facts before you want to yell at me. Oh. Because my facts aren't right. You're married to two men at the same time, right? You said you just run through men left and right. You didn't even know Michael when you married him. You really don't know John when you married him. So my facts are wrong? Yep. Uh, you're really putting yourself in a good light. What, you didn't ever did something stupid in your life? I'm sure you have. I didn't marry anybody after a couple weeks, no. Well, that's you. I didn't have children with anybody I've known for five months. Never. Did you sleep with uh, Michael last night? No, Michael tried to get me to sleep with him, and I wouldn't. And we wasn't in no hotel room because we just showed up here this morning. Because so where do you get a hotel room at? I don't know. He said that. We were at I his mother's him. last night, and the, he knows damn good and well the you only reason. You slept at his mother's last night? I stay at his house two nights a week to see my son. Why, does he have your son? He has temporary custody of my son because I'm going to DOC. You're going to jail? Yes. I get to serve a year. I leave next Saturday. What are you going to jail for? Michael turned me into probation, and... I got a probation violation. Okay. And you're not going to see your kids. Well, they might come visit you in no. jail, right? No, they won't. I will not allow them to see me like that. So your children aren't going to see you for a year. Yeah. Does that bother you at all? That bothers me, and I hate Michael for it. And Michael knows it's that. It's his fault. He's the one that called him. It, wouldn't he have a right to be mad that you went, you left him, you married another guy before you were he even divorced? He knew I was going. He's the one that told me to go. He's the one that took me to the airport. And he's also the one that stole John's debit card to try to pay for me a flight back home because he wanted me to come home so bad. If he did not know, how did he get all this? Come on. The boy is stupid. I think that uh, label goes for everybody that's on my stage. So you're going to jail, and your baby, I'm assuming, how, how long? Um, eight Pardon? weeks. You're eight weeks. So you do a year in jail, you're going to have your baby in jail. Yeah, and it goes to John. And then it goes to John. Yep. And see, here's the thing that scares me. You say you know John, you've known him for five months. But, you know, and during that five months, you're not with him every night because two nights a week you stay with Michael's family so you can see your son. Yep. So you really don't know this guy. You say all you want that you do, but you don't. And, you know, not the best track record in the world. 
And while you're in jail, your baby's going to be born, taken away from two, and given to John. Mm -hmm. And you're totally comfortable uh, with no, that. No, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Because I see how he is half the time with my kids. He's never been a dad. He don't. And how you know, is he with your children? He, I mean, he teaches them. He tries to guide them. But he has, the like, same as Michael, a very low tolerance for children. Don't you, as, as uh, you feel for yourself, don't you deserve more than really either one of these guys? Don't you deserve for a man to put the time in with you, to be with your kids? Uh, let's say a year, a year of being good to you, treating you right, showing that a man has still a high talents. They could spend 10 years with me and it's not going to be enough to prove to me anything. Well, if, if you're marrying guys with low talents for kids, who's going to suffer? Apparently not my kids because they're not around them long enough. Let's, let's bring Michael back out. What do, you, what do you want to say to your wife? Please don't sit down. What, what do you want to say to her? That's the way you feel, and that's who you want to take care of your children and you. Then why don't you go ahead and take him and shove him. to come to your mom's to see my 11-month-old child. You've not asked to have him. You're right, I haven't. I've asked many a times, Michael. Well, why said, don't you have your child? Because, like I said, I was in jail, and Michael went behind my back and told them oh, that so I was Oh, so you went to jail, and then he him. took your son. He waited till I was in because he was afraid that I was going to stand up to him. No, because you told me you wanted a divorce, and you were leaving me, so... So you had to wait till I went to jail to try to take my son? What kind of people? Does that make you that you can't stand up to me? Listening to her, I think she told you she wanted a divorce. Why the hell wouldn't you let her get a divorce? She can have it. Why now? That's the way she feels. She wants it. She Why can now, have it. though? Why did it have to come to this? You know, the truth of it is, she's on probation for whatever she did or whatever. But the truth of it is, if you did call her in, I mean, you know, no matter what your bitter feelings are for her, you're sending the mother of your child to jail exactly. for 11 months. I did months. not. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. There's too much. I did not call it's pretty him. bad. The probation officer said that okay. you're the one that did it. Listen, Michael. Michael, I you know, are you a trustworthy guy? Do you tell no. the truth? No, yes. He does. You said you were with her last night. She says no way. Oh, no. yes, I was. You know, it's just the way you answered that. I know you're lying. No, I'm not. You know. <laughs> Let's bring Crazy Suit Guy back out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't smile. You can. Okay, thank you. You just give me the creeps, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We've had pedophiles on the show that were more liked than you. Really? Wow. wow. <laughs> Get with the talking. We've uh, had really bad guys that were less creepy than you. You know that I can give you the future God. that you and the kids deserve. Not Michael. He's had his chance. Why not be with your present and your future and just let go of that because he's had his chance and what has he done nothing it is time okay to okay you know I'm cut, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm cut I'm cutting you off to make your decision okay, okay. <laughs> here here's the deal why you didn't grant this woman a divorce and let her go you're a young guy you made a big mistake but you know what some point in your life, you better grow up and learn to have a little backbone and make a decision hey, and be and thing. stand up for yourself. Have some self-respect for yourself, Michael. Don't allow this to happen. But you know what you also do? Don't let your child be a pawn in your bitter game exactly. with somebody. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I don't know what your story is, but no matter what, you're a dirtbag for marrying another guy's wife. It's not waiting for her to get divorced, letting her, she's already got legal troubles, and then you compound it by letting her commit another crime. You're one of the creepiest guys I've ever had on my show. I'm glad I never have to see you again. Get off my stage.
And you know what? You can be with whoever you want. Mm -hmm. And, no, you know, live your life the way you see fit. Bringing children to the world, you take responsibility. I know, honey. And you know what? You shouldn't be bringing any more in. But now it's the end of the show, and just by walking out the door, you can either go out that door and be with Michael, or you can go out that door and be with John. It's your decision. And I made my choice. I took off my ring to Michael a long time ago. Well, then go out the door that you want to be. I will do that. You're going to college just to play, play football. football. Right. And I found out she was pregnant after I left. Everybody was telling him that I was cheating. He has my big head, but he looks <laughs> just like him. And we gave a DNA test. And I've never cheated on him. He's the only guy I've ever been with. If he's not my son, I'm leaving you. It's over. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. The kids not mine don't look like me. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. All you are is a liar, a cheater, a whore. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. Yeah, it was just bad. Now you took a DNA test. You look really nervous. And I have to ask, why are you crying? <laughs> Adam, Ryan, you... Willie left home and his girlfriend Veronica to go play football at college. Two months later, he finds out Veronica is pregnant. Now, Willie says there's no way he's the father. Take a look. I've been with Veronica for two years now. I left to go to school for football on a scholarship. And when I got there, a month later, she called and told me she was pregnant by me. So I came back in January and she had to find out that I was cheating on her, which I told her I was cheating. I, I found out later, six months later, that she was texting a guy on the phone. If you weren't doing nothing more than texting, why you couldn't tell me this? Why would she lie about something so little if she hadn't done anything else for so long? After that, when she got ready to have my, have my son, um, I was in the hospital with her, and I had told her I wanted a DNA test because I felt like she got pregnant while I was gone, it probably wasn't mine. So when I told her that, she gave me kicked out of the hospital with the nurses and the doctors coming to get me out the room because I wouldn't leave. That made me think even more that it wasn't my son because all I said was I wanted a DNA test. I think she cheated on me because she was trying to get back at me for cheating on her. I honestly don't think he's my son, but I still take care of him like he is because I love him, man. Like, I don't have any other kids, and this is my only child. And if he's not mine, I can start my life on other places. I honestly want him to be my son, but if he's not, I'm out. Steve, since the first time I met him, like, I love this boy. Like, I've only been with him. He took my daughter as his own, because I have another kid, and he took her as his own. He's the only guy, yeah, I did get pissed off. Like, I, he cheated on me two times. And when I found out, yeah, I wanted to go cheat on him, but I couldn't do it. Like, I love him. Like, he's the only guy, like, why did I he, ever... Why did he say he cheated on you? <laughs> he said he cheated on me because everybody was telling him that I was cheating. And then he said he suspected I was out doing things, but all I was doing and, was... And you never cheated on him? No, I've never cheated on him. I've always been faithful to him. Yeah, I did go out and text somebody else, but I didn't do nothing with him. I was never why, with him. But why did you text somebody else? Because I got pissed because he cheated on me, and I thought I could go out and go cheat on him and do it back to him, but I couldn't do it to him. He thinks, and this has got to be hard for him, the child might not be his. That's, that's got to be a tough thing, right? Yeah, like, it pisses me off every day he's accusing me. Like, he ended up throwing me and, my, me and my kids out, like, three times. The last time he just kicked me out for good, he said he can't trust me. Like, he don't even leave me home by myself. Like, he always his, thinks I have everybody at the house. How long have uh, you guys been apart? Almost going on two months. Going on two months. And... Has he seen his son or allegedly Yeah, he son? still sees the kids. Like, he'll see him every now and then because my daughter asks for him all the time. So you're here today because you want to prove to him that you didn't cheat on him and that... That the baby's his, too. Tell me about what happened at the hospital when your son was born. Okay, we're sitting there, and he just kept staring at him and staring at him. I said, what's your problem? And he's like, he's like, I want a DNA test. And I said, are you serious? Are you really serious? And he's like, yeah. And I said, for what? You know this kid's yours. I've never once cheated on you. 
And he's like, well, he just don't look like me. And I got mad and I had him kicked out of the hospital. He looks just like him. Like he has my big head, but he looks just <laughs> like him. Is Willie a good father? Willie's a good father. Like he's good to my kids. Like no matter what, he's never treated uh, my daughter any different. Nothing. He like treats her like it's like his. his own yeah. Right now, the relationship you guys are apart. Yeah, because he told me. But he so can't. what does Willie say? If you pass this, if the child's mine, we'll get back together. Yeah, he said then he'll start trusting me again and everything. But and you want to be with Willie? Yeah, I love him. I love him. I want to be with him. He's the only one I want to be with. Did you take a lie detector test? Yes, I oh, did. Oh, you did, and we gave a DNA test and mm -hmm. we'll totally verify whether Willie's the father to your son. All right. Well, uh, let's bring out Willie. <laughs> If he's not my son, I'm leaving you. It's over. Uh, whatever, Willie. You know I never cheated on you. You know I never cheated on you. The whole time. No, you went. You went over there and cheated on me. You went and cheated on me. Six months. And you mean tell me that you are telling the truth? You ain't telling the truth. You ain't telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. You ain't doing nothing but lying. When these tests come out, watch. You owe me an apology. I apologize, but I know it ain't gonna be right. You got said uh pregnant after I left. It went. Okay, it takes a whole month. You took a DNA test and me all. Uh, um, a fraternity test, and you weren't even pregnant then. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a uh, junior college you're going to, right? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you're going to college just to play, play football. football, right? I found out she was pregnant after I left. You took a DNA test. And the results are Willie. You're going to college just to play, play football. football. Right. I found out she was pregnant after I left. What position do you play? Defensive end. Defensive end. Yeah. You're a big dude, man. All right. Um, are you any good? Yeah. So, uh, like in high school, will you be, a, were you like a, a star? Yes, 16 sacks. Whoa, pretty good. <laughs> so, I mean, I imagine being a football star that women like throw themselves at you, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and being a football star, you're not going to say no. No. <laughs> Come on. You got this beautiful woman here, right? Yeah. How long you been with her? Two years. Two years. Now, she says you cheated on her, right? Yeah, I told her. Uh, and why did you? Well, because you when, I, when, I, got, when I got ready to leave, the whole time from when I got ready to leave, she was arguing. I know you're going to go chill with some girls. I know you're going to be all on the girls. And, like, and you're going to college just to play co you're yeah, going to I college go to school, and play, play football. football. Right. So I was like... When, I, when it happened, I just did it because I got tired of her always saying, I know what you're doing. You're saying she wore you down. So yeah. You had, to, you had to sleep with them. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. All right. And you know that's right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's, he's a college guy. You're a little bit older. Uh, maybe he... I think at college, you want your freedom, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't you say that to her at least and say... I, I did. You did? Yeah. All right. Like, but beyond that, do you love her? Yeah. Do you want to stay with her? Yeah. Like if she Are you going to cheat on her anymore? No. Okay. So let's get down to the fact. She had a little boy, beautiful little boy, right? Yeah. Do you want him to be your son? Yeah. She you named do. him after me. She, you named your son after him? Yeah. Okay. So you're Big Willie, he's Little Willie. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you think he's not yours because why? Because I found out she was pregnant after I left. It was like September. Yeah, but couldn't you have got her pregnant and then you left? Hey, I'm pregnant? Nah, it was at the beginning of August when I left, like August the 6th. So and in between out, then and before I left, we, she had just got a pregnancy test. But without any, you really have no, besides the texting, which she says she was mad at you, texting another guy. Um, but without any real proof, you don't know that she cheated on you, right? No. Why, why kick, you know, she's got a little girl that you're like dad too, right? Yeah. You kick her and the kids out of the house, 
What if the DNA test comes back and it's your son? I'm continuing to take care of him. Okay. Will you let her move back in? Yeah. Like, my dad had been there all my life. Um, so you're hoping that she passes lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Now, did we give you one? Mm-mm. Oh. <laughs> Thank God for that, right? Yeah, I admitted it, though. <laughs> yeah, you admitted it. All right. Uh, Veronica, you came here because you, you love Willie. Yeah. You want him back. Your kids want you back. So let's hope you pass and Dean Tusk comes back in your father. Let's hope that. Um, since you have been with Willie, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no, and the results for that is inconclusive. Um, no, that just means, that just means it doesn't mean you, you're guilt or, you know, you're telling the lie. It doesn't mean you're telling the truth. It just couldn't read conclusively what the answer is. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't say you're lying, but it doesn't say you're telling the truth. It's just inconclusive. We couldn't get Yeah, but to him it's going to be I'm lying. But let's exactly. read. That's a lie. Let's, let's read. The other. No, that, that does not mean that. It's a lie. There's two more questions, Willie. While Willie went away to school last year, did you have sexual intercourse with any other men? She answered no. She told the truth. In the past six months, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides Willie? She answered no. She told the truth. So what I'm saying is, with the first one, apparently she was with somebody doing somebody else. Not apparently. Apparently, it wasn't, well, it wasn't able to it's get not, it. It's not apparently. It's inconclusive. Are you really going to let a word break the two of you up? Yeah, he will. No. Yeah. Let's, no. let's find out. Now, if I was quarterbacking right now and I was running around the stage, do you think you could catch me? Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. All right. You took, uh, you took a DNA test. And the results are Willie. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yep. Uh, you took a DNA test. And the results are, Willie, you are the father. What do you want to say to Veronica? I'm sorry for saying I'm not the father. Sorry for asking for a DNA test. But at the same time, I know it's more to it. Before I left then, if it's inconclusive, like, it got to be more to it. Like, I'll take another one. Like, that doesn't listen, matter to listen. me. Listen, you're getting hung up on the wrong thing here. She passed the two other questions. This could be something that years ago. Exactly. The, but I'm saying. It, it's, but you know that for a fact that you're guilty. Yeah, I told her though. Okay. No, she he didn't tell me until I checked the phone records. He would have okay. never told me. I don't understand. How long you've been together? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Do you love her? Yeah. She came here. She took the lie detector test. She didn't fail on any question, and she passed the other ones. And the baby's yours, and you don't seem happy. Yeah, I'm happy for that. But it got to be something else that's inconclusive. She, oh. she would have passed that one, too. She would have got that one, too. You see what I'm saying? Like, we really, yeah, she would have got that down, one, too. Sit down. Sit down. No, no, no. He, he didn't do anything wrong. No. Hold on a second. I think part of the problem is, and, 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 and you're not wrong for feeling this way. I think you're a young guy who got involved with an older woman, and it was, it was a good thing for you for a while. But then when you went to college and you had your freedom, and I got to say, you know, you're playing college football and, and going to college and being a young man, that has to be a very exciting time in your life. And that must open, you know, a lot of doors and windows to see different things that you weren't exposed to while you were in high school, right? Yeah. And I got to imagine a young, good-looking guy like yourself wants to enjoy the things that come with 
being in college. But if you don't want to be in this adult relationship, because I don't believe you're just hung up on that one question. I don't think anybody's going to let a relationship of two years and a, and a child and, and you love this little girl be hung up on that. But what I don't think, Will, you can't have both. You can't have this family that's going to make you feel good and Willie's the family man and then go back to college and enjoy all that too because it's not fair to her and it's not fair to those little kids. But what I think you do can make a choice is I'm going to be a good father but I'm not going to be in this relationship anymore. Or I'm going to be faithful to you and I'm going to be in this relationship. But that's a choice you have to make. And either way you make it, as long as you're a good dad and you take care of your kids, then I don't think anybody would blame you for saying, hey, I'm, I'm young, I'm in college, I want my freedom. <laughs> so I, I think you really you have to make a decision. You serious, bro? Like, you seriously don't believe me? I've never once done anything to you, never cheated on you, never done anything to you. Are you seriously going to take that inconclusive as me cheating on you? All right, how long or me you doing you, something else? How long have you lied to me? Yeah, I lied to you, Will. If I was lying to you for six months, seven months, and then come back saying... You probably would have, but I looked at the phone Willie, records. Willie, Willie, remember what we just talked about? I think that's, forget about all the other things. Again, it's, it's not so much about her or what she did. because You weren't completely honest and trustworthy. But again, I, and I told him, I think this is more of a case of Willie deciding what he wants. Does he want to be in this relationship where he's tied down, he's committed to you with two children, or does he, well, he's got to be a father no matter what if you're going to be a stand-up guy. But I think he's a young guy going to college and wants to have fun. And, and before this, I asked him, like, he didn't have to be with me. Like, I told him before we even had my son. He didn't have to be with me. If he wants so you to gotta go ask, out. You, you, I can ask him, but I think you should be. He's got he's to make a decision for you. He's with you or he's going to go and live the single life on Like, campus. this stuff needs to stop. Like, if you can't stop accusing me every day, then just go. Like, we don't have to be together. That's fine. Raise your kid. Like, That's I know you want to freaking be out and doing your own thing. Go ahead. Go do it. We don't have to be together. You want to go be a pro, whatever, go be them. I don't care. Like, I'm tired of this to stop. Like, you need to stop accusing me. I didn't do anything with you. Do you want to be in a committed relationship or do you want your freedom? I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah, I really want to be with her so I can raise my son like I was raised. What do you, what do you want to do? I want to be with her so I can You want to be son. with her? Yeah, so I can, can you be faithful son. to her? Yes. So when you're playing college football and you walk off to the field after a big game and all those hotties are out there and they're like, Willie, Willie. She'll be right there with them. She's right there with them. Yeah. Give her a hug, man. So you're picking her? Yeah, she always at my game. All right. And so is this what you want? You want to stay with him? Yeah, I do, but he just needs to stop. Well, start. please let us know. First of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you because I want to follow what's happening with you. And I want to know if this stays together and if he truly stays by you or if he's not lured to all the candy on campus. <laughs> all right? Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Good luck to you. I hope it works out well for you. Hey, Willie, I'm Dan Rubikoff. I'm the polygraph examiner for the show. Yes, sir. So I want to explain to you guys about what inconclusive means in a polygraph. Inconclusive is neither pass nor fail. Inconclusive comes out when a person's reactions aren't consistent. Now remember, the human body is different, everybody's body is different. So to be fair in a polygraph, the person's results have to be very close to 100% being truthful or very close to 100% being deceptive before an examiner can call it truthful or deceptive. So in her reaction for that particular question, 
she comes up as inconclusive, meaning that I can't get her high enough towards one or the other to be able to call it fairly. So I hope that I've you know, helped to answer your questions with that. And uh, you know, of course, you're a nice couple, and I wish you lots of good luck. Not really, I still think I cheated on him, but. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. Now you took a DNA test. Adam, Ryan, you. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. When Adam's ex, Heather, gave birth to a baby boy, he was there to hold the newborn as any father would. Now, eight months later, he denies the child and says her other ex, Ryan, is the father. Heather is devastated, and both men took a DNA test to find out the truth. Heather, you called the show. Yes. Uh, a very convoluted story here. Yes, it is. Um, you were with uh, Ryan. Your boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Yes, we were together about nine months, and I mean, we had ups and downs like everybody else did. It's just he was away constantly. He wasn't there for me, and I met Adam, and he was there for me. He gave me the compassion that I hadn't had, and I ended up sleeping out with him. And I thought it would be a one-time thing, and one time turned into yeah, to more, and then. Ryan finds out from his now girlfriend that I had cheated on him. So you're really not sure who the father of your child is? Adam is the father. You There's know? no doubt that Adam is the father. What happened with Adam? I had found out two weeks that after me and Ryan decided to work things out, yeah, that I was pregnant. Got sick, went to the doctors. And I was pregnant. Ryan was so happy. He's like, oh, I'm the father. He was so happy. And then two months passed by. There's no way I could be the father. He don't, you know, it doesn't add up, and then he leaves me after two months being pregnant. So from two months on, I was by myself. Every sonogram, every doctor's appointment, by myself. And then I feel from a doctor's the conception date, and it turns out that the conception date was the time I was with Adam. So after time and time trying to find Adam to get to talk to him, I told him, look, you're the dad. No, 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 you got that wrong. It's not mine. No, no. So. So that wild, passionate love was already over. Yep. And why, why did that end? I don't know. You don't know. But you're not alone now. No. I'm married. Got married in May. No, April. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. And, and you married a guy other than Ryan or Adam? Yes. Okay. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Adam. He signed he the came, birth certificate. He came, he put his name. He held him. And then what's the problem? What happened? He said, my son's started to change his looks. He didn't look like him no more. Oh, you got a cute little boy. <laughs> and, and how old is your little boy now? He's going to be eight months. He's going to be eight months. He's got a, he's got a lot of hair for an eight month old. So you're married to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Ryan is now with another girl that you know, mm -hmm. right? She's actually my friend. She's your friend? Yeah. Who do you want to be the father of your Adam. child? You want Adam to mm -hmm. be the father. And what does your husband want? He wants Adam to either step up or sign his rights away. All right. So and he can no, adopt And him. you're saying there's no chance Ryan could be the father? No chance. But there's Everything's a slight chance, right? Slight chance. Okay. Let's meet Adam. Just before. Here again, all you were is a booty call. Oh. I had no feelings for you. Don't want nothing to do with you. The kid's not mine. Don't look like me. He don't look like you? How can you sign the birth certificate? Because I was sneaking out while you were in the hospital and I was having sips of alcohol, so I wasn't even I was away. there awake, Adam. Yeah. I snuck out. Whenever I went out for a cigarette break, I was drinking on my cigarette break. So you're a deadbeat. If you want to call it that, the kid's not mine, though. 
you were with her, and you know she had a boyfriend, right? Yeah. And you slept with her? Yeah, she was pretty cool. That's about all okay. I was. I was just When, but... Yeah, which was bad. Well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yep. Well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. Why did you put your name on the birth certificate? Because I wasn't thinking. I was under the influence. The whole... <laughs> the I whole time? <laughs> well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk, honestly, and I That's didn't really pay excuse, attention. That's not Adam. I mean, you speaks. know what? That should be an offense, and they should lock you up for that. I mean, really. Because you're not thinking about that kid. That kid's going to have to wonder, well, why did my dad sign the birth certificate if he didn't think that I was his kid? He's going to wonder what's wrong with him. I pity for you. I felt sorry for you because you had nobody. That's no excuse, Adam. You have a brain, don't you? You know what? She always seems to have somebody. It's not like she has nobody. <laughs> she's a whore. Of course she's going to have somebody. I'm a whore? I slept with you. That makes me warn. No one told you to sleep with me. This is a woman that at one time you thought you had a child with. You say you signed your name on a birth certificate. Now, think about that. You didn't sign your name to a car title, you know, to a, a lease. <laughs> you this is him. this is you signed your name on a certificate of a of, of a human being saying you were the father. And then you come out and go, oh, you beauty call, and I was drunk. <laughs> you know. I mean Does, You're not oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, listen, is this an act right now or is this really the way you feel? It's the way I feel. I'm just telling the truth. I'm here to get this over with. You're telling the truth, but you, you, you can do it without being so mean. <laughs> and, hold on, hold on. And it could have been so bad because you were pursuing her, you laid down with her, you had sex with her. The point is, it wasn't so bad at one time. All I was just a fling with her. Felt sorry for her. You felt sorry for her. Yeah, she had You felt nothing. so sorry, I'm going to take responsible for a child that I don't believe is mine. Yeah. Okay. Then, not only are you mean, you're stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, now, you took a DNA test, right? Yep. Do you know what DNA test is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question, and in all serious, I want you to answer it, okay? Yeah. Who is the Vice President of the United States? Obama. <laughs> Again, government's not my thing. You're close, very close. Not that much. <laughs> All right. Um, you took the test. What if this little boy is your is your child? Sign my rights over. I don't want nothing to do with her. So no. hold on. Um, you're the man that you're married to now. Whoever's child it is, whether it's Ryan or it's Adam, he wants them to sign over their rights so he could be the adoptive father. Yep. So you're saying, even if this is your own flesh and blood, you don't want nothing to do with it? Yeah. What you're saying is like punching me in the stomach right now. Because I would, I can't imagine my, because I think about my son, my children, every time I do the show, and thinking like my little boy being like, I don't want you. Man, it, it, it just, it tears me apart, man. That you, this, we're not talking about a dog or a cat. This is... Uh, uh, see this little boy here? If he's your son, you really wouldn't want anything to do with him? Nope. Uh, you, you hearing that, what's your fear? I mean, it hurts me, and I'm not even involved in this story. 
it hurts me because he's missing out. He has an amazing little boy. He's smart, funny, always smiling. You, you, if he is your little boy, I'm just saying this, and if you do this and you sign him over, you will miss out on a lifetime of just pure happiness that you gave your son away. And it might be one of those things that you regret for the rest of your life. So be it. Uh, Ryan's here, uh, the other potential father. Um, you cheated on him with this guy, which, wow. <laughs> this, I, I better see the biggest slug in the world walking through that door. Uh, let's bring out Ryan. All you are is a liar, a cheater, a whore. Hold on. You were, you were dating her. Um, were you happy when you were dating her? Yes, I was. Um, when you found out that she had cheated on you, what was your reaction? Um, that I was going to beat his face in. OK. But that's over with now. You moved yep. on. You have a, a new girlfriend, right? Yeah. You like her? Yeah. Nice girl? Yeah. Now you know she had a little, uh, little boy. Yeah. Could that? boy possibly be yours? No. It can't? No. Nope. No chance in hell. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Unprotected sex? We used condoms a couple times. A couple times, but yeah. sometimes you didn't. Yeah. And you understand biology, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> so you know that there's a possibility, slim that it may be, that you could be the biological father of a yeah. child. Are you hoping that you're the father, or you're no. hoping that you're not? Yeah. And if this test comes back and you are the father? I'm going to take care of it. You are going to take care of it. <laughs> you're raising this little boy now? Yes. And you don't care that she was with him or with him. You want the little boy. Yeah, I want him. You took a DNA test. Ryan. You're raising this little boy now? Yes. And you don't care that she was with him or with him. You want the little boy? Yeah, I want him. Now, she is currently married, and her husband is saying, whoever's the father, he wants them to sign over the rights. No. But you're saying if, you're, if this is your little boy, you're not signing rights away. No. You're going to take care of the little boy. Yeah. Good for you. Your girlfriend's name is Sarah. Let's bring Sarah out. You're lying. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. You bought Heather jewelry for having the baby, and now you're saying that you were drunk when you signed that birth certificate? You're full of <laughs> And you, you can be a vindictive bitch and manipulative, and sometimes you, it feels to me like you're coming in between me and Ryan. Now, you guys are friends, though, right? We, we have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Who do you think is the father? Adam. You think Adam's the father. <laughs> what, if, what if it is your boyfriend's? I don't know what will happen, because uh, it's that would be, be hard. I don't trust Heather and Ryan together. So, I'm married. I'm happily married. You might be happily married, but sometimes when do you, you say, think your remember boyfriend, when? Do you think your boyfriend would still sleep with her? I don't know. All right, let's meet your husband. What's your husband's name? Dave. Let's bring out Dave. Dave. For one, Adam, you can go to the hospital and go in drunk. They'll kick you right out. You know no, that. They goes, man. I'm just taking a guess. You're kind of wasting your time talking to this one. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why don't you stand by your wife? Um, you're raising this little boy now? Yes. And, and you don't care that she was with him or with him. You love her. This is your wife. You want the little boy. Yeah, I want him. I don't care if he was, she was with Ryan. I don't care if she yeah, was with that's, Adam. That's, that's, it's neither here nor there. But there's a little boy involved. And you're saying whoever the father is uh, biologically, you'd want them to sign over their rights so you could be <coughs> the adopted father. Yeah. Ryan has said if he's the father, he wants to take care of it. It's his son. He wouldn't give it up. 
Um, this knucklehead over here said, eh, you know, I don't want it, give it away, you know, let me move on. Brian, if you are the father, I would like to have you sign your rights away. I'll still let you see him. It ain't happening. Oh, okay, this is Adams. In a way, I'm kind of hoping he's the father. Not for the little boy's sake, but just for the sake that you would get him. You know what I mean? Like he's willing to say he'll sign it, which would be good for you. Um, the DNA test for Adam. You're like sweating this out too. But in all truthfulness, if he's not the father, that doesn't automate make you the father. Because, you know, you were having a good time. <laughs> She didn't say no. <laughs> and I have to ask, why are you crying? <laughs> All right. Adam, you are not the father. Oh! Oh, oh. I knew it. Hold on, hold on. Before you waste any air or time on my stage, get the hell off my stage! I swear to God, I just heard, thank God. It's like, whoo! He's like biting you. <laughs> the youth of America. Okay, you took a DNA test. Are you the father, Ryan? You look really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan, you are the father. Um, your, your reaction to, I mean, do you have any other children? So this is your first child? Yeah. You, I, I, I'm assuming for the whole time this little boy's been alive, you did not know you were a father. Right. If he says, hey, you know, you guys are married now and he's with her, what do you say about him helping with the child? As long as you don't disappoint that little boy. Because I don't want to have to have him come into his life and him leave. The good thing is, you really do know who the father of that child is. You can go change that birth certificate and get Knucklehead's name off of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, what are you going to do? I don't know. It's, it's a big thing, right? <coughs> does it really change anything that the two of you have been? Yeah, it, it does. does. It does change. And why? Because he has a child or because he has a child with her? With her? With her. But she's your friend. Like I said, a love-hate relationship. All right. A little more hate right now? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I just hope that you work it out. For the little boy, you got, you got a beautiful looking son. Can he go back and see his son? If he wants to. If he wants to. Do you want to go see your son? Yeah. Okay, can we all go back? And there's going to be no fighting or anything, right? All right, let's go see your son.
Thank <laughs> you.